Hey guys, it's Madam Moria. Welcome to my Tuesday stream. Uh, welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons Mushroom Fun. The mushrooms are out. We're in November now. It's a brand new month. We have yet to see anything in the game this month, at least on stream, and I've really only played like one day this month. Um, shocking. I mean, they've only been like three days to the month, so whatever. But anyway, we're gonna check that out today. We're gonna see some of the fall like scenescape, work on some of the mushroom stuff. Um, and then I'm going to cap off the stream with more Super Mario Galaxy. We are currently in the bedroom transitioning into the garage, is it? I always get this wrong. The engine room, I think. Thank you for the follow, fish. Um, and so, anyway, that is the plan for today. If you guys were not here yesterday, um, then I encourage you to watch the update I posted on my YouTube channel yesterday afternoon. Um, if you have any questions about next week or my rebranding, um, I have a rebranding going on and I will not be streaming at all next week except for on Friday. I'm still planning to stream, um, which is Friday the 13th, ironically, and we're going to be capping off the GameCube era of Friday Night Mario Party that day. So that's kind of the idea for that. Um, and what happened to my photo for my <laughs> my Etsy photo disappeared I'm not really sure why um, so give me a second let me pull this back up oh I know why because I moved the I moved the folder and when you move folders it makes things not work anymore so yeah I've been advertising uh, my sweet daisy bag for all you daisy fans out there um, I currently still have items available in my Etsy store for fall 2020 and I encourage you guys to shop local, shop small, uh, shop handmade this holiday season. And Shliam, thank you so much for the sub hype. Welcome back to the Ba family. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. I give you all the Ba's. But um, yeah, so check out my Etsy store. I am getting ready to start working on a holiday line and I've got all kinds of gift ideas in there currently. So check that out. And I wanna start posting like an item a day, either on Twitter or Instagram or both. So if you wanna follow me on those, I have links below the stream in the video description, or you can type exclamation Instagram or exclamation Twitter in chat to get the links to those anytime. So anyway, let me go ahead and say hi to everybody. So Psycho Nacho Man, Casanova64, Flo42, Mocha Streams Gaming, um, we have Stardev94, and then also Shalim the Worm is in the house, Mr. Wario, Torterabyte, Andrew David93, Scottman895, Armand2017, Fish he he he. And I think I maybe got it. Yo, 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 she95, Fat Cat Crossing. I didn't scroll far enough, sorry. <laughs> Pokemon 208 and Mizaki9. Welcome, you guys. Thank you for being here today. I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, happy November. I know the pizza fun's just still up. It was met yesterday and. I have yet to change it. I do have another goal in mind, um, except I think this time I'm going to do a follower goal. So that's probably gonna be what I update things to for the weekend, but I just didn't do it today. Sorry, I was lazy. Um, <clears throat> I didn't wanna like reset the, 
the goal last second, which is what I would have ended up doing. So anyway, welcome everybody to the stream. So I basically covered all of my updates yesterday. So again, if you weren't there for that, I posted the link to the video in Discord. It's like probably now the second most recent video on my YouTube channel, the other being Monday, Mario Party Monday, um, because that would have gone live at 1 p.m. And yeah, so anyway, but just uh, long story short, this is the last hurrah for any of my old alerts because they are being shortened, altered, or deleted, or replaced. So if you have an alert that you really, really love and you want to see, this week is the time because then a lot of them are going away or being changed or altered to keep things fresh and to shorten them. We have like way too long of alerts right now, which is my bad, but we're taking care of it. So thank you again to everybody for the hype for Halloween, to anybody who wasn't here yesterday. Thank you for that. Thank you for the bounce, Psycho Nacho Man. That's, that's the sneak peek. That's the sneak peek new alert because that's the only new one I like uploaded. I was like, oh, I'll test this one. Um, so it's uh, Bouncy Kitty. And the... The amounts are going to change too, I just haven't, I'm just leaving everything for now until next week when I officially tweak it. Yeah, you love a good balance. <laughs> so we're going to get started with Animal Crossing. I have um, kind of had an animal frenzy this morning because I ran out of cat food and so my kitties have not been happy. I even gave them their special like wet food and that wasn't good enough. It was like, yeah, but where is our like staple food? Like, what are you doing? So I'm like, okay, I need to go and get them food after this. <laughs> so, um, you know, I might cut things just so slightly shorter so that I can get them food. So anyway, let's go ahead and switch over. I'm gonna turn off my lovely music. KK cruising. there you go. All right, get that out of here. We're going to now switch to my other screen here and I'll turn this music on for you guys turn it on for myself and Isabel is greeting us in her lovely sweater so that's exciting um let me see no sorry I adjusted these levels earlier I wanted to make sure they were still good looks like they are um, but yeah here we go so oh pixie thank you for changing the game also welcome to the stream pixie's always on it all right, so, Psycho, thank you for the bids. I think we'll all miss this alert. I, the only alert I'm planning on having under 100 is 64, so, you know, unfortunately, we'll have to see what happens. All right, my dear madam, something about seeing piles of colorful leaves everywhere puts me in the mood to bake. Oh, me too. Pies, cakes, muffins, biscuits. I can't fight this, I won't. I think I need a bigger fridge, mom. Oh, Mom, you're so strange all the time. Murphy, they say you should always put your best foot, not your, but your best foot forward. So, kiddo, I got a little something for those dogs of yours. I don't have dogs, I have cats. No, I think they'll look real sharp on ya. Size-wise, I took a guess, but try them on. I bet they'll fit. You probably got me some really heinous shoes. Let's see. So our mom got us. Oh, mom's cool kitchen mat. That's cute. And then, yes, kimono sandals. Why? No. Uh, Toon Triforce, welcome to the stream. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and check out... I have, like, some more fall fashion going on today. And... I'm still, like... When the heck are the leaves and everything going to change? Like, officially. Um, because I'm really, really over this, like, green, like, it hasn't been green here forever. So it's like, uh, can we get, like, actual fall colors? Like, I don't understand this. I don't know. I don't really understand why it's so late to update that kind of thing. And it's getting on my nerves. Because I'm like, before you know it, it'll be December and then it'll be snow. So, like, what are you doing? Why is it taking this long to get fall colors in here? It should have been all fall colors by Halloween, in my opinion. I thought it was going to change, and then when it didn't, I was shook. Alright, we have the magical girl dresses. I have this one. I don't have any of the other colors. Which, they are very cute. You love a good magical girl. Um, 
This is Hello. gibberish. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the pimp zone. Ooh, I do like this purple hat though. We've got the mixed tweed socks. The I don't know that I have the purple. Ooh, I don't think I have these. Well, these are like steel-toed boots. Those the name ruins it for me. They were cute until I knew what they were. Um Let me see if I can get the purple magical girl outfit at least. Yeah, no. All right. Anyway, um thanks, Cass. I know I love that um Jack changed my face to have this beautiful face paint cuz I I never remove face paint in this game. Like, I had the paw prints on my face since day one. So I'm really loving this, like, pumpkin and bat on my face now. Courtesy of Jack. The czar of Halloween, by the way. Okay. I just haven't been, like, super impressed with the clothes as of late. I just need, like, I need fall to be what I want it to be in this game, basically. All right, it's not impossible. Goth outfit? Oh, sweet. Oh, we haven't had like a cool outfit yet. She's always like, be normal, work outfit. Sporty, I'm like, no. Okay, good, goth. I like the idea of doing a more extreme fashion. Ooh, vampire costume, okay, yes. She knows, she knows now we mean business. I know, she wants me to- she wants me to get goth. Um, okay, so we have nothing new here. Oh, we have like this- I think I already have this TV. This like little TV. But it's cute and it's tiny, so I'll buy another one. Cause I think I just replaced my larger one. Also these pillows come in handy. I'm just gonna buy this stuff just to have it cataloged because I don't think I have everything cataloged in in this game yet. I know I have it in my other town that I haven't visited in like months, but like sometimes I still get confused because I really like cataloged lots and lots of stuff there. More than here. I haven't really been focusing on that much here. What is that? Arched brick flooring. No! Jilly! You're gonna get in timeout again. Alright, let's see. I mean, I kind of like it. I've been collecting more of the, like, red and green kind of floor and wallpaper just because of Christmas. I want to have some options for decorating. So I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna want. So I just end up buying anything that I think could possibly work for that theme. Yeah, Jilly's basically trying to mess with my stream again, which is what she does all the time. All right, well, let's go ahead and go home because I have all, what? Oh, some of this stuff is to give away, but not that. Okay, I have my first um, mushroom DIY here, the mushroom wreath. And I went around and collected mushrooms yesterday so that I'd be able to make this. So we'll go home, we'll put some of this stuff away, change our outfit and make that wreath to put on our door. And I know, I don't like how you can't see the wallpaper or flooring either. Remember when you used to be able to like preview it in the entire store? Like why would they take that away? That's kind of silly. I really don't understand that. So I, t I totally agree with that. It should just like when you click on it, it should just show it. Also, I redid my kitchen. I don't think I showed this off, but I changed the wall and the floor and it looks so much like cozier and yet fancier at the same time. My kitchen is where I put all the photos I get from villagers. So this is the room that just kind of showcases them all. This is like a very family oriented room. I really, really love it. This is like one of my favorite rooms. We hardly ever go in here because it doesn't have like a, a closet or a vanity or anything. So, but this is like the room that I don't touch because I love it. So that's why I'm like showing it now. Um, also because I was thinking I might be able to put this TV in here. I think I'm going to move these guys a little bit lower so we don't have to uh, scroll for them so much. But I wonder if we could put like the TV. How do I get from my pockets? Mounted. I 
think we just might have to move that for now, only to turn it on. Uh, there we go. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. But yeah, I really love this kitchen. And let me see if I like those pictures better once. Uh, I don't think I do. I think I want to move them back up. I am so, like, OCD when it comes to, like, how I decorate these walls a lot of the time. Yeah, it looks better up higher. I know, Julian's up high because he's, like, long gone. Uh, but yeah, this is my kitchen, and oh, I'm glad you guys all like it so much! Thank you! This kitchen's so fly! I really, really wanted, like, a comfy kitchen. If I had a little bit more space, I might add, like, a fireplace in here, but I really don't think it needs it. I kind of just like how it is with what I have here, and it looks very, very cozy and quaint, and I kind of want the whole, like, cozy cottage theme. I've talked about this many, many times. And what I'm going to start doing now that mushroom stuff is becoming available is I'm going to start working on this main room. Because right now it's just like a wooden scenescape to get the co cozy cabin vibe. I also have some photos in here as well. Because um, I wanted to have like kind of a homey vibe going on in here too. But I want to start adding some of the mushroom stuff in here as we collect more and more of it. This room over here is kind of like my guest room. And right now it has, like, the pumpkins. It's very, like, I love the way this room looks. I'm really into, like, that wooden aesthetic that's like a cabin. So that's kind of what the idea is. And this could be, like, decorated with more mushroom stuff, too. I just had this be more of, like, my casual, cute guest room. So, but we need to... Actually, no. Let me put some of this stuff in my pocket away. No! What am I doing? Put some of this stuff in your pocket away first. Alright, vampire costume, cushion, board game. I do want to change my basement too. I had it set up kind of like a bed and breakfast. And it's such a big room that it'll probably end up being like... I'm thinking either to do... That's the thing, is like I kind of really like this room and I might have accents in my main room. But like downstairs, I don't know whether to make that like all mushroom and fall and fun. And then upstairs is my seasonal room, so it'll become Christmas. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, also, this is these are all to give to people. What is the moss? What is this? Oh, no. I don't want that. Okay. Um, this music makes you miss city folk. I wish I liked this song better. It's not one of my favorite Animal Crossing songs. It, it sounds very, like, French and ritzy, but, like, I kind of wanted... I don't know. I, I kind of wish there were more than one song for the city and city folk. I wish there was, like, a mix, you know, kind of like... I guess they would have to make, like, 24 more songs in order to do that, to, like, incorporate, like, city-type music to be different. I don't know. You know what I'm saying, though? That would have been really cool to have, like, a variety. I would have loved that. Uh, do I have a skirt? I have this black... Uh, skirt. I want to try and do that with, like, fishnets. Oh, you know what? We should do the mage's boots. I have fishnets on already. Are they the black fishnets? What? What, baby? Oh my! Yeah! Maybe I'll do the stripes instead. Hi! Hi, sweet girl. Uh... Maybe like an eye patch? Or black? I don't know. Well, I kind of like the sunglasses. There we go. I mean, that's a cool look right there. Is that not a cool look? I think it's a cool look. I wish I had black wings, but I guess the white will. Or no, let's do the red. Yeah. All right, this is my gothic look, which doesn't even look gothic, so it just looks like fun Halloween-y. Whoa, it's Odin Speck. What's up, Odie? Welcome to the Strem de la Strem. Why are you bawling over there? Kitty's got her toy in her mouth, and she's just running around with it and crying right now. 
I know, come on, bring it over and I'll play fetch with you. She loves to play fetch. All right, good girl. Here's her hair tie. Yeah, <gasps> go get that, good job. Oh, here she comes. Yeah, you did it, you were so fast. Took you like two seconds to do that. All right, Um. okay, let's see if she actually likes this. Oh, thanks, Pokemon. I mean, I don't, I guess I like, it helps, less is more. I made the mistake before of like putting everything up against the wall and having too much stuff in the middle and it drove me insane. So I like decided to only go with like a couple colors do less against the wall and I don't know try and I tried to look at villagers houses like villagers houses are really good starting points for like trying to do something different I already threw it it's over there go get it it's over there oh my gosh hold on I'm gonna have to show kitty where this is so she doesn't think I'm tricking her look it's over here do you not see this She's like, I didn't see it over there. I'm sorry. All right. Um, okay. I wish she would just give these to you instead of mailing them to you. Yeah, Kurt's house inspires all your designs. Oh my God, it's so bad. I wish you could wear sunglasses like that in this game, how um, Label has them on, how they're above her eyes. Like, why can I only wear them on my face? <gasps> oh, I actually like that. Yes! I really dislike most of Label's stuff, but I really like the hat. Alright, we're gonna go back and change again. And then we're gonna start making our way through town. I Making your way downtown. Anyway, I need to get out all these, like, fossils. Because I have a ton of fossils from yesterday. Hey. Okay. Anyway. Uh, blah, blah. Let's put that in storage. Yeah, so, like, this room back here. I've gone back and forth, like, oh, maybe I'll change it. And then I'm like, no, it's too cute. It's my pink room. I always have a pink room. And it's, like... A replica with my own flair of Cookie's room or Cookie's house and I love it and that's why I say like the villagers are a good place to start to get inspiration to get inspo let's see if we can oh wait no I want that big hat like look at how flawless that is yes let me see if I have like a different or what was the thing I was wearing before? I don't know what the thing I was wearing before was. Jilly. Jilly. No. Ew. No, not that. That looks not good with this. Yeah, just a towel. Where is that outfit that I had on before this? Was it not a one piece? Did I pat? Oh, there it is. It was like the houndstooth vibe. I was going to say, I like that. The whatever dress I had on before better than this. See, like, that looks good. I like that. I'm gonna put my fishnets back on. Um, and I had on, like, the regular... Oh, I kinda... Well, now I'll do the black ones. And have my... Now I'll do this bag. Yeah, so it's kind of the same outfit I was already wearing, but now we just have this really super intent tent hat. All right, hey, no, Jilly. I know, my sweet bath towel. Oh gosh, all right, see ya, Scott man. Thanks for stopping by. Um, let me, look at how many pumpkins I have. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. I also need to get out the mushrooms I have currently. And a couple tree branches. I think I have three different kinds of mushrooms, maybe four. Oh, I have four different kinds. Alright, we're just going to get these out so we can keep piling them in. I s haven't uh, done any grinding for uh, pine cones or acorns in like a hundred years, so I probably need to do that. <laughs> I would imagine I'm going to need to do that. Or, like, I don't know, for other recipes, maybe. Okay, so we can make our wreath. 
and we can only make one. I was really hoping we could make two, but I guess not. What else have we? We haven't made the pine. We haven't made this yet. Oh, because it takes pine cones. No wonder. Uh, okay. I tried to like favorite all the cabiny furniture. I still need to make this spooky wand. I need star fragments and a spooky lantern so we can make that eventually. I love this wreath. Okay, I think I am gonna put this on my door. Uh, I'm put these away. Yeah, I'm gonna put those on this on my door. Um, also, Armand, thank you for the hydrate. Uh, will I be making a stream for Thanksgiving? I never stream on Thanksgiving. I don't even usually stream on Black Friday. I like to take that whole holiday weekend off and make sure it's truly about family. And, um, you know, my family celebrates Thanksgiving pretty hardcore. So I, I don't usually ever do any kind of stream. But I do have um, a really ridiculous video that is live for that day and that day only from last year and I'm intending to add to it. So if you want insanity, there you go. But yeah, I never usually do a stream on Thanksgiving or Black Friday. So that there will probably be no Friday night Mario party on the 27th, I believe is the Friday after things. I think it's on the 26th, isn't it? Yeah, so the 27th, I probably won't have Friday night Mario party. Oh, Psycho! Thank you so much for the bits! Possibly the last hurrah for the underappreciated simlish alert. Possibly the last hurrah for the underappreciated simlish alert. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I try to just make sure that weekend is what is about what's really important, which is family. Not that I don't love you guys, and, but I'm usually not, you know, I'm doing too many things to stream anyway. Uh, Ninja Killer, welcome. Thank you. I'm glad you like the cabin room. I'm trying to make my whole house, like, very, very thematic in that way. Which will be really nice. It's just an easy, like, theme to alter for the seasons, especially, like, fall and uh, Christmas. So I wanted something that could kind of fade into that. Which is one of my favorite themes anyway. Alright, so we're gonna go around and collect fossils and mushrooms. Yeah, I, I big hate you guys. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So, 26th and 27th. I mean, I don't stream on Thursdays anyway, so like that's not really a... It's not like that would conflict with my regular schedule, but... That Friday does, so I probably won't stream that day anyway. My family usually celebrates both days, and I'm one of those weirdos that I enjoy the leftovers more than the actual, like, dinner. I don't know why. I guess because, like, you know, like, on Thanksgiving Day, what happens is... What the heck? Oh, sweet. Ooh, I found, like, a truffle. Um... What happens is you, my family doesn't, you know how people are like, oh, Thanksgiving dinner is at noon, and I'm like, that's not dinner, that's like lunch. Well, so many people I know, their dinner is early like that. My family, no. We're lucky if our dinner is done by like 6 p.m. There have been years where we didn't eat until 8 p.m. Because like we make so much food, especially when my grandma was still here. Um, when my grandma was still around, oh my god, that dinner, I starved to death all day long, along with the rest of my family, until like 8pm, when we finally had dinner. Um, and I think by that point, I'm just like, sick, because I've eaten nothing all day, because people, especially as a kid, you know how like, your parents are like, you, you're not gonna eat your food if you eat now, so then it's like, yeah, but when you're not eating for seven hours, I don't think that exactly, um works the same way. That's one of the nice parts about being an adult. You're like, I can eat what I want, when I want, whatever. Um, so anyway, we eat at dinner time. We do not eat early. Like people eat at like 11 a.m. some people or even 2 p.m. It's like too early. Like you're hungry again by that night. Like I don't understand how that's dinner, but at the same time, I'm envious of people who do that because then they don't starve to death all day. 
Um, but yeah, seriously, I enjoy The Leftovers the next day better, and I think it's because it takes, like, less prep time. You kind of know what you're in for, you know what you have, you, like, don't starve yourself the entire day anticipating this meal. I don't know. I think The Leftovers are better. I'm just, like... And I think I've, I've told my mom that. She's like, honestly, I think I do too. Like, I like the leftovers better. And it's so weird. It's like, who likes reheated food better than, like, the fresh stuff? Uh, I don't know. I guess I do on that day with that meal. Um, but yeah. I, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. How could they have all that ready by noon? I mean, I know you usually cook the turkey overnight. My grandma always cooked the turkey overnight. I feel like the stuffing took forever to make, and I don't like stuffing or dressing, whichever you call it. I don't like, I don't like it. Um, and I also just don't eat it because I'm a pescatarian, so I don't have any kind of like broth or turkey. Like I was never big on turkey anyway, even when I was like a kid and did eat meat. It was like not my favorite thing. Um, but I'm all about <clears throat> all the potato dishes. <laughs> my favorite dish on Thanksgiving, uh, my mom makes it. It's sweet potato casserole, and it's the best ever. If you've had sweet potato casserole, you haven't had hers. Like, it's not as good. I'm sorry, but it's just, there's no way. <laughs> That's how I feel. It's so good. I, like, fight people for it. I give people dirty looks. As soon as they go for it, I'm like, don't. No. No. Yeah, don't take... I want to take, like, half the pan. I'm like, save most of it for me! So, anyway, we have, like, uh, mashed potatoes, sweet potato casserole. I think sometimes my... Uh, well, maybe my mom makes potato salad on Christmas. I get them mixed up sometimes which holiday she does what food for. Um, my mom is, like, the best cook in the family, so she's the one who, like, <laughs> makes all the good stuff. I am a baker. I do not like cooking, but I do love baking. So I usually tackle dessert because I love making. I, I love baking. But since I was seriously like nine years old, eight, nine years old, I've been making the pumpkin pies for Thanksgiving. So I always make the pumpkin pies. I always make the... Oh my god, was he trying to leave? You're not allowed to leave. You just got here. Okay, good. He's not leaving. I'm sorry, but that was a, a debate. I'm not letting Cody leave. Um, also, we haven't gotten his photo yet, so no. Anyway, I make the pumpkin pies, and I make the cranberry sauce from scratch, and that is also something I've done since I was nine. So the things I do, it's like, they're pretty easy to make, but it's because I've been making them since I was little, literally in my single digits. Like, that's just kind of why I never change to do any other, like, uh food. Also, I hate cooking, so it's like, but I don't mind. I, I do really enjoy cooking that stuff on that day. Um, I think I have made my favorite dish before unintentionally when my mom needed help. Um, but yeah. So anyway. Yeah, Cody's not even an option. Also, uh, welcome marching band. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, what, what's, a uh, Deirdre doing back there. We have so many fossils, meaning that everybody's gonna be like, oh my god, I saw that you donated like 400 fossils to the museum yesterday. It's like, why are you noticing this? Please don't notice this. I think we've almost gotten all the fossils for the day, though. Some of these were backlogged from the other day, too, which is why there's so many, in case you're wondering. Okay, what else can I get rid of? I want to have stuff to give away. Cartoonist set. I don't know that I have anything that's like really good to give people where they're not going to just be like, oh, that's cool because it's like it doesn't cost enough. So I think I might just sell all of this stuff that I have in my pockets right now. Anyway, I wish we did macaroni and cheese on Thanksgiving, but we saved that for Christmas. I honestly think I like... I used to say, like, oh, I like Thanksgiving better because sweet potato casserole is my favorite dish in the world. But then my mom started making it on Christmas, too. So, honestly, now I prefer Christmas dinner to Thanksgiving dinner. Only because it has, like, the mac and cheese and stuff. Um, and, you know, this is all, like, homemade. Like, made from scratch. Like, old, old family recipes. Like, so... 
love, 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 basically. I haven't really seen many mushrooms other than the ones we got, like, around my house. I guess I'll just run everywhere and make sure. That's kind of weird to me, though. Like, why are there not more mushrooms everywhere? I'm gonna have to shake some of these trees a bunch, too, and see if I can get, um... Some pine cones and stuff out of the- Oh, look at the ba- no, no, I missed the conversation! They were talking! Oh. Um. What about KD for Christmas? No, you're not allowed to have KD on Christmas. You have to have, like, the real stuff. No offense to anybody who does have KD on Christmas. That's like I went to, um... I went- to, I had my first Canadian Thanksgiving last year with Odie's family. And I made the same things I make for my own family. I made the pumpkin pies and I made, um, cranberry sauce, like, from scratch. And, yeah, I remember his family's like, oh, we usually just buy, like, the cran canned cranberry sauce. And I was like, <gasps> you know, trying not to have a heart attack at that statement because that's... That would be like the ultimate blast. That would not. That would be so unacceptable in my family. We're Thanksgiving snobs, you guys. You have to have the homemade or no way. It's like when people do instant potatoes. You can't do instant potatoes. I'm sorry. No. You have to do like homemade or no way. What are you guys doing? Do you see what's happening behind me with these cats? Um... It's like, look, nothing against that stuff, but on Thanksgiving, we're, we're going all the way. On Thanksgiving, we're doing, like, the whole shebang. We're not just joking around here with, like, boxed foods. We're doing real, actual food. Yeah, homemade or no-made. Exactly. Okay, I think I got all the fossils. I found a couple more mushrooms in that area, but still not very many. I was hoping this wouldn't be as sparse as the um acorn or not or i guess yeah the acorns and the pine cones where they do not spawn as frequently as i need them to but it, it's looking kind of like that might be the case which is a little bit annoying but um i odie has never been um in the u.s for thanksgiving so he's never had american thanksgiving before i've gone there for canadian thanksgiving but um I don't know, <laughs> Jilly, I don't know that Canada gets like fall break like we do. And when I was teaching, like we would get an actual like fall break time off uh, from work to accommodate like the school schedule because my um, dance studio matches school schedule. But like, I don't know that that's a thing in Canada. I don't know that fall break is a thing. I, I don't know. Um, so if it's not, then it's way e it was way easier for me to be like part of Canadian Thanksgiving than for him to be a part of American Thanksgiving because you also don't get like this whole weekend off in Canada if you don't celebrate the holiday. So you would have to like accommodate that. So it's nice because together we get two Thanksgivings, you know, individually. We'll always have two Thanksgivings. So, um... That's kind of fun. And I got a new recipe. Hold on. Uh, wasn't it a rock? Freaking rock. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah, what the heck is fall break? Yeah, uh, a fall break is when you fall and break everything, obviously. Yeah, we usually do midterms followed by fall break. And... Grade school fall break is a lot of the time different from college fall break. I don't know why, but I want to say that, uh, I think college fall break is earlier. Whereas, uh, grade school fall break is later. And I'm, when I say grade school, I mean like kindergarten through 12th grade. Um, okay, let me sell all this crap. And then we need to buy some of this other stuff. <clears throat> Are you guys just playing? I'm gonna sell everything but the... Oh, no, I don't want to sell that. But the mushrooms. Yeah, somebody in my town's gonna be like, Oh my god, I heard you sold, like, a million fossils. You know. Yeah. 
Okay, now I'm gonna put this up here with the other mushrooms. And how much is... I already have this. I bet I have stuff in my... I'm gonna go back to my house and get some stuff out of storage to give people. I mean, five days off for Thanksgiving is pretty dang good, I think. Malher the Rabbit, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Pimp Zone. But yeah. I know in college, like, for Thanksgiving, we just got literally, like, Thanksgiving and Friday off. I'm pretty sure we had school on Wednesday, like, the Wednesday before, but then a lot of the time people would be like, hey, can we not have class that day? And a lot of the time the teachers were like, yeah, let's just not worry about that day. So they would, like, change the syllabus to make it where we didn't have to go because they know people are, like, preparing, people are traveling. Like, a lot of people miss anyway because they're either traveling home or um, if you're not a traditional age college student like you are maybe the head of dinner like you know i there are a lot of adults that go back to school too it's not all like 18 through 22 year olds like um some people have families that are in school and so it's like you know obviously you can't just it's not a one size fits all kind of thing let me see what i have in here to give people um i think i bought this for tank and then he moved away so whatever Hand cart. We could probably give that to somebody. Exercise bike to somebody. Uh, some of this stuff I'm saving. Like the heater. Mm. I'll give the turntable to somebody. It's not like I'm gonna use it. At least not anytime soon. I think that might be good for now. Yeah. yeah, then I have three gifts to work with. So. Wow, your school has two days off for Thanksgiving. Well, that was exactly like my school. My school had Thursday, Friday off. You would have to talk, to talk the teacher into letting you have more than that. But yeah. When you first went to college, there wasn't a fall reading week. Also reading week. That's just not what it's called here. No one's gonna read on their time off, like, and not, not the way they want you to, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love to read in the colder months, like, that's one of my favorite things to do, and I usually try to read a chapter a night out of something before bed. I have, like, my whole stash of books for winter reading right now, I just, uh, bought a bunch and restarted, uh, the Pretty Little Liars series, which I love. And haven't read in years now. I think I started reading it when I was a freshman in college. So that was like 10 years ago. It was! I literally started reading 10 years ago. So I'm excited to read it again. Also, I want to point out that Deirdre is wearing a sheep costume with horns and eating a lollipop. And it's very, very adorable. Okay, I'm going to grind for some of this stuff while also giving gifts to people. I guess that's what sucks about, like, Canadian Thanksgiving is it falls on a Monday, so, like, they either give you the whole week off or it's, like, you know, what are you supposed to do with that? Like, it's it's at the beginning of the week. That's what's lucky about, like, American Thanksgiving being on Thursday and then you have, like, Friday, at least. You have the Friday. It's, like, that'd be kind of stupid, which people do work that Friday, I guess. Um... If you work a traditional 9 to 5, you probably don't work that Friday. If you work retail, you probably work that Friday. But then, you know, when I worked retail, I was like, I can't work that day. <laughs> so, But then again, I'd been there for so long, it was like I, you know, I was able to do that a little bit easier. Oh, I didn't mean to be, like, behind this. These dang wasps, they're always right where I am. I've gotten one pine cone so far. I agree, Shliam. I was actually talking to one of my family members about how Black Friday is like an outdated concept by now. It's like, look, they have sales literally leading up all the way. Like, go to any store right now, any store's website, and it'll say like, ooh, Black Friday deals, like already. It's like, this is just a concept. This. It used to be like a fun thing and stores were not open on Thanksgiving. It was literally reserved for the next day so that they were respectful of the employees being able to spend time with their families and not have to work or be obligated to work. 
Um, and it's just been, it's just so, like, inconsiderate now. It's like, you guys seriously need to go out and get all this material stuff. Like, like, Christmas is about giving and the holidays are about giving, but, like, this is taking away from somebody else's, like, family time. This is taking away from somebody right now. Like, you're being totally selfish. Like, that's not... That's why I, like, stopped participating. Like, when I would go shopping on Friday, it would be, like, after 10 a.m. when stores would regularly open. Like, I never went super early. I did go super early, early in the morning when I was a kid when things were not open on Thursday. Then it was fun. It was like, oh, this is, like, a fun thing to do on Black Friday. And it's early in the morning. It's not literally on Thanksgiving Day for some reason. But... Stores just kept competing more and more with each other and pushing it up like, ooh, but we're gonna be open on- And it's like, what are you doing? Like, you- this is so, like, inconsiderate. So... It's just ridiculous. And then people would get, like, uh, trampled and- I'm like, as soon as the violence entered the picture, I- If I were, like, a store owner, a company owner, I'd be like, okay, no. We're not doing this. This is, like, where we draw the line. It's gotten out of control. But I know a lot of uh, stores this year, also CJ Maverick, welcome to the stream. I know a lot of stores this year are talking about not opening on Black, or sorry, not being open on Thanksgiving Day at all. Like most stores are gonna be closed. And it's like, it seriously took a pandemic for them to make this decision. Like that should have been a no brainer. Like that should not have been a thing. Like I understand that there's always like, I think that grocery stores were open on Thanksgiving with shorter hours, like, during the day, just in case anybody needed something, like, desperately. But even then, it was, like, a short period of time, few and far between, like, not to go out and start Christmas shopping. Like, that's just insane. And with the internet nowadays, you don't need that. Like, you really don't. So, it's like, yeah, hire, use employers to fulfill online orders the next day or the weekend after like there's so many ways about ar around this now that it's it's 2020 like there's the technology no i just i don't understand how it took a pandemic for them to be like oh you know what i think we should maybe uh be closed that day oh no no i don't want to talk to you no 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 <laughs> no what deirdre you ruined it <laughs> she ruined it kitty she did! How could you do this to me, Deirdre? I know! Freaking Deirdre! Getting me wrecked. Okay, anyway. Let's go ahead and do... Oh, never mind. Oh, look at this! Flashy Fox is getting shouted out. Um, I was gonna give her a gift, but then I realized she sat back down. I know, she sits down immediately. How rude. <laughs> I know, consumerism can be a curse, especially around the holidays. That is for sure. And yeah, the, I hope they don't open at midnight or some BS, because that is just so stupid. I always said if I worked at a place, retail, that was like, oh, well, you're going to be here on Thanksgiving Day. I'd be like, yeah, I'm putting in my two weeks notice right now or my five days notice or however far away Thanksgiving was at that point. Hi, sweet girl. Kitty's showing off for me. Um, seven. I want to get up to ten pine cones, in case you guys are wondering how long I'm doing this. Um, oh my gosh, get that thing. So yeah, I just don't think it needs to be a thing anymore. Like, I understand the hype, like, holiday shopping the next day, great. But, like, we don't have to have, like, in the middle of the night, on Thanksgiving night, on Thanksgiving day... That doesn't need to be a thing, so I don't understand that. Um, but anyway, I always do like a cyber sale that weekend um, on my Etsy, and it's just the same sale. Like, I think I've done it different ways. I think I've done different sales or different things on different days. Like one day was free shipping, and another day is like a percentage off or whatever. I but last year I just did the same thing for the whole weekend, which is probably what I'm gonna do again this year. Um, I might give, like, more of a discount on older merch than anything new, and I might make deals different for different things, because some of the things I have are part of a brand new collection, and obviously, um, you know, I want to make sure that that is not just being, like, the same clearance as an item that's been there for a long time, but, 
Um, yeah, I've done like different things on different days for like Black Friday and then uh, Small Business Saturday. I don't think Sunday has a name and then Cyber Monday, but like, yeah, I'll probably do the same thing for all of it this year. And then I plan to release like, hopefully by then release my winter collection, which is probably not going to, I don't know that it will be as big as my fall collection. And it might be some of the same items, just like different colors, like the headbands that- I love those like twisted ear warmer headbands, those are my favorite things, you guys. Um, and that I might make like the different colors for the holidays, obviously, and I have some holiday- bleh, holiday ideas for those. But, yeah. Um, also I just got 10 pine cones, so I'm gonna go ahead and now start working on getting acorns. And finally giving some of this stuff away. So here we go. DJ's turntable. Let's give him the hand cart because it matches the inside of his house. Yeah, holiday. It uh, matches the inside of his house more. We already got his photo. I'm, I need to like focus on giving gifts to people whose photos we don't have. And Deirdre is one of them, which is why I was like, let's give her something. Never mind. Cody, I need to give you something. Okay, I need to stop fishing in this pond that literally never has any fish in it. Okay. Um, we'll give him- he has like a very kitty style house. Uh, we'll give him the DJ turntable. <laughs> we'll give the exercise bike to Goose. We still haven't gotten his photo. I feel like we're close. I've been having a lot better luck with photos lately, so hopefully... We'll get something soon. Also, I have this acorn knit cap. I'm gonna see if this is a different color. I don't know if it comes in different colors. <gasps> oh, this is a different color, yay! Okay, cool. Yeah, what you think? You don't know what you think? Oh, okay. Um, okay, exercise bike. I'm just shifting things around so I know what I'm getting rid of versus what I'm not. Okay, let's go see if Goose is home. Hi! Hi, kitty! Kitty sweet! Kitty's on my desk right now, and she's blocking the- No, don't chew that! Those are my- No, those are my, like, Joy-Con things. Don't chew- She's, like, chewing on these. Like, no. These are for Mario Galaxy later. Uh, bye, Pokemon! Thank you for stopping by the stream! Yeah, Sunday's the stay home- I can't see what you said, Liam. Stay home and stop spending so much money. I'm ironically like, well, actually it's not even that ironic. I do this every year, but I am um, almost done with all my Christmas shop shopping this year. I really didn't do that much shopping. I made most of my gifts uh, because I didn't want to deal with the chaos. Oh look, his house is so like cluttered now. It used to look like so good. Sorry Goose, we ruined your house slowly. Um, but yeah, I... The only things, I only have like very little things left to get before I'm just done. <gasps> oh my god, look! Oh, you guys, I knew we were close. It was the exercise bike. Oh, yay! I'm so excited. Photo hype, Goose's photo. Oh my god, I'm so happy now. Yay! No, we're never kicking Goose out. We're never kicking Goose out. He's one of my all-time faves. Alright, I gotta put this up in my house. Why are you out here sweeping the grass in a robe? I'll give her whatever this outfit is that I have. I, I love that it blurs out the photos so you can't accidentally give them to somebody because that would be devastating. Oh, here you go. If you're gonna work outside, you might as well wear, wear a work apron. I know, destroying houses is worth the photos. Oh, she looks cute in that! It looks like I have that outfit, and I think it's really, really cute, because I feel like an elf in it, like I'm gonna go make toys or something. Simple parka. Okay, who else's photos do we need? So we need... We still need Lion... Do... Wait, no, I don't think we do need Lionel's photo. I think I got it the other day. We need Deirdre's, we need Cody's, Tia's... Oh, we need a lot of photos, but that's because I, like, recently kicked people out. So... Basically this whole row, we need all their photos, but like, Rattle is like brand new. Tia's not that old. Yeah, we, we, we need them. 
I forget Tia lives here. I do too, honestly, because she's in her house a lot. She's very cute. We haven't connected as much as I, like, was hoping we would, but I still love her regardless. Okay, I'm gonna put all of this stuff away. No. No. Okay, I'm putting all this stuff away, and then I'm going to... Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh, I still need to look for acorns. That's what we're gonna do after this. So, sweeping the grass in a robe. I do that all the time. I bet. Don't we all? Alright, I'm gonna put uh, Goose's photo. No. There we go. No, don't. Okay. I'm going to put Goose's photo in here. Uh, there it is. Oh, look at how... <laughs> look at how spiffy. Why do I want it in here? Yeah, there's Lionel's photo. We have his. Uh, we have Murphy's. Tutu, obviously. I'm just naming all the ones we still have in town. Yeah, we have a lot of photos because we basically get the photos and then we say get out, but... Yay, goose! Oh, I don't know if I like it that high, though. Maybe I'm gonna move it down a little bit because, like I said, I'm very picky with where these things go. Yeah, there we go. I like that better. Okay, goose photo is now on the wall. And then I think I have Fridges and Stitch's photo in here. We saw this earlier. Yeah, Fridja Or not Stitches. Uh, I always want to call him Patches. Biscuit, that's it. Biscuit's photo. Alright, anyway. Let me go ahead and find... Uh, what did I say we need? Who? Yeah, so we don't need Lionel. We just need Deirdre. Deirdre and Cody are probably close. Judy seems to really like us too. I don't know. We just need like those five. So half the town we don't need their photo. Half the town we do. And I don't think I have any- well no, I have that simple parka now. But I can't give anything to Rattle because he's sitting. There's Judy. We'll give it to her. Shoot, I'm sorry. No, I didn't mean to hit you. She wears this diner apron a lot, which is actually really cute because it matches her, but like, no. Um. Well, I wonder if Odin will stream this week. I know. Oh, it looks so cute on her! It matches her, like, coloring! Ooh, a chef's outfit. We should give this to Tia because she has, like, a cafe in her house. We'll run back and give that to her. There are some trees over here we can use for acorns. Yeah, I just want the trees to all be, like, fall. Like, seriously, you guys. You know the trailer for Halloween that Nintendo put out? All the trees and everything were like orange and red and yellow and look at this, it's still green. It's like, why is it still green? You said it was gonna be like, not like this. Alright, she's wearing the simple parka. Anyway, so good thing we didn't just give that to her because she would have just been wearing it in a different color. <laughs> look at how cute the like, two pumpkin statues are back there. Or pumpkin towers, I should say. Oh, it matches! Ooh, earbuds combo. Sweet. Yay! Oh, her house looks so cute right now because this, like, makes it look like it's all decorated for fall. Like, she's gonna be cooking up some meals and then she's got this random, uh, <laughs> sleeping bag here. I didn't actually look at the rug our mom sent us either, so I need to do that. Um, I need to do that. Okay, who else do we need? We need, uh, Rattle and Deirdre, who's probably still sitting over here. Deirdre oh, no, she's not! Okay, good. I really love her in this sweater, but I'm gonna ruin it by giving her <clears throat> the earbuds combo. So... Yay! I mean, it is kind of like a hoodie, I guess. Ooh, a tricycle! Perfect! We can give that to Rattle. I kind of don't 
like this color shirt for the earbuds combo though because it looks like scrubs with like a stethoscope on it like it doesn't look right to me okay all right i gotta shake these trees down here i don't know that rattle will move off that bench unless i like save and quit so we might have to just forget about him for a while Seriously, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I try to grind, and nothing happens. Come on, give me the acorns. So yeah, I guess these trees are, like, yellow, but, like, where's all the other colors? Like, I'm, I'm ready for the fall hype, and it's, like, November 3rd. Can we get this going on in here? <sighs> I need all the different color trees, like... I'm just gonna keep complaining about it. And it's gonna be probably another stick. <sighs> Dang it. You know, you guys, I've been really in the mood to play uh, more Pokemon lately. I am only to the third gym in Sword and Shield, and this is the time of year where I start, like, thinking, like, oh my god, Pokemon. Like, especially around Thanksgiving, I always want to play it. And I feel like a lot of Pokemon games release around Thanksgiving. Maybe that's why. Wow. One. One, you guys. One so far. So, I have been thinking about that lately. I'm gonna pick all these up. I'm gonna go to a different area. I'm gonna go to that area in front of the Harvest Festival that has all the regular trees. I just thought we might have better luck in a clear area which was apparently my bad Woo! excuse me mm. yeah so like all these trees oh money sweet imagine if you shook a tree and money fell out of it like how does money even get stuck in a tree does this make sense to anybody oh my god cast pokemon does put me to sleep it really does which is why i'm only to the third gym like, I seriously take, like, years to play Pokemon games because I fall asleep so frequently. I told you guys, when I played Let's Go Eevee, it took me, like, eight hours to get off the SSN. Who takes eight hours to do the SSN? Me, because I fell asleep that many times. I played for, like, 20 minutes and then that was it. I'd be gone for, like, hours. I'm like, I cannot do this. I am so tired. Crazy. Um, but yeah, I, I don't have any, like, the DLC or anything for Sword and Shield, which I don't need it because I fall asleep before I can, like, play to that extent anyway, but, like, I've been wanting to pick it back up lately and play it. It's just a lot of the time I don't play games outside of streaming. If I do, I play, like, The Sims 2. Like, that's my go-to game outside of streaming when I want to, like, relax and unwind. Because <clears throat> then I can live all these, like, fantasy lives, which is really fun. Or, or chaotic lives that um, are just entertaining. So that's part of why I haven't done anything with that. Okay, good. I'm glad I got two acorns from the- Oh, three acorns from this shaky shake. We're doing the same thing. I'm gonna shake until I have ten acorns. And then probably after that, we'll be ready to switch over to Galaxy. Like I said, there's not, like, a ton to do other than grind right now for, like, fall recipes and the mushroom recipes coming up. Which I don't even think we've seen any balloons, so if you get mushroom recipes by balloon, we've seen, like, none of them. So, no. What are you thinking about, Tutu? In your work apron. Back there. Okay, I need your advice. Oh, she says little monster for uh, Halloween, so we're gonna freshen it up. Let's do uh, something Thanksgiving, so. Let's do turkey. Mmm. Let's do turkey hype. Alright. 
Yeah, I think you should be saying turkey hide. <laughs> yeah, that stuffing. I feel like, isn't that what- that's something like what Stitch has already said. I think he already said that, honestly. And it just had to do with him being a stuffed bear, but... But that would be a good one for Halloween- er, Halloween. For Thanksgiving as well. Yay! Two more acorns! Please give me something else! No, I meant, like, more, not something different. Hold on. How many do I need? Okay, I need three more now. Give me that hot three. Flo, you didn't really miss anything because we're just like grinding for these dang acorns right now, which for some reason do not spawn more frequently than this, and it's very annoying. And then I hate when a recipe's like, oh, this only takes seven pine cones. This only takes ten acorns. It's like, you know how long it took me to get that many acorns and pine cones? Took me like an hour of grinding just to get like three acorns. Come on now. Yeah, it's an acorn stream basically. Oh yay! Look, I should be wearing my acorn hat for this, but I put it away because I'm wearing this really hot label hat. Woo! Alright. So I need two more after this. I need two more. Hot grinding stream. It's just, it's necessary. At least we've been having like a good talk though. We've been talking about Thanksgiving, talking about Black Friday, talking about the holidays coming up, talking about games, Pokemon, which Pokemon just released um, their holiday collection, which I look forward to every single year. Uh, Pokemon Center, I always put on my Christmas list, like, face, get me anything from Pokemon Center, because I love it. Um, and they just released their holiday collection, and so, it's, it's all so cute. Every year, it's like the cutest stuff. But, um, I did get myself some things, uh, over the weekend, so. I think I'm supposed to get them today, actually, so I'm really excited for that, and I'm, I don't want to say what, because I think I might make, like, a little video, do, like, a little unboxing video. I haven't- Oh, wait! I think this is number 10. Okay, good. I haven't done an unboxing video in a little while, so that would be fun. And I enjoy doing videos like that. Yes. Okay, please be something that we can- No, Judy! Judy! Out of the way! <laughs> Judy! Oh! No! Come on, Judy! Oh my god, Judy. No, no. Okay. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Okay, that was a lot more dramatic than it needed to be. Box sofa? What? I was expecting it to be like something... Uh, I was expecting it to be something legitimate, you guys. How stupid is this? Oh my god. Alright, well... <sighs> what color is it? I don't know. It's yellow. It's the same color I already have. Dang it. I need all the box sofas. Do you need the yellow one? I'll send it to you if you need it, Pixie. Um. But yeah. Yes, you should check that out, Pixie. Because uh, Pokemon Center ships to Canada now. Which I find it surprising they didn't before. Like, what the heck? Um, and, wow, you won't have to rely on me getting you Jinx, wow. Um, alright, I'll send you the yellow sofa, I won't sell it. Also, I'm gonna hold on to this tricycle so that I can, hold on. I'm gonna hold on to the tricycle so that I can give that to somebody too. Um, I am switching to Mario Galaxy once we're finished up with this, which we're almost done. I gotta sell this stuff, uh, send this to Pixie, and put this stuff away. Because it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to give Rattle anything right now. I think I'll have to save and quit to get him to move, so. Yeah. Alright, and I need to buy a slingshot again. I 
liking it. It's the same outdoorsy one. I don't want this one. I want the colorful, but... I might have a colorful in storage. Well, maybe I don't. I feel like I broke all the ones I have in storage. The, the tools I, like, never have in storage are shovels and uh, slingshots because I tend to use them the most. And then I never have backup. Whereas I hardly ever fish in this game. At the When this game first released, I fished like a maniac and I was totally up to date on it. But that was in my other town in Rainbow Run. So now I'm totally out of date with it. And I missed a bunch and I never end up fishing. Like I just never end up. It's also really hard to do on stream because I can't watch it. I'll panic and I'll miss everything. Whoops. I didn't mean to talk to you like this. Um, I'll panic and I'll miss it, so I have to listen to it. So then I'd, it'd be like a silent stream of me literally just listening. Um, and not saying anything, which I don't think is the most fun for you guys. Alright, so we're sending a live letter on stream to Pixie. Wow, everybody had, like, pink hair on that screen. How fun. And we're gonna give you the mushroom. Oh, look! It had, like, a Thanksgiving one! Uh. So far. All right, cool. Don't you love when you accidentally send a letter to somebody and you forget to put the gift attached to it, and then you waste one of your two letters that you can send them the day that day? Totally haven't done that before. All right. Anyway, we're gonna send this card. Oh, thank you for sharing the dream addresses. I need to update the dream address on this game as well. Because I don't think it's been updated for a hot second. So maybe we'll do that right before we save. Because all we have to do is run home now. We have a gift for next time to give to somebody. Rattle's still there. And that's who we need to give this to. So oh well. But yeah, I know. I keep forgetting to use the dream feature in this game, and I'll be honest, I'm disappointed with it because it's not randomized anymore. You, like, legitimately have to look people up. So that is a bit frustrating to me, and I'm not a big fan of that. Um, also, this log chase probably wouldn't be the most comfortable place to sleep, but... Yeah. Anyway, I'll update this now for you guys so that way you can come dream in my town if you feel so inclined especially since you have to like know the town you're going to um all right update the dream and yes let's update cool this is the last thing we're doing in this and then i'm going to take a quick break and switch to galaxy so I'll probably switch to Galaxy and then take a break though because it has all the fun music that plays like on the title screen. My nails are like starting to break you guys because the air is drier and I'm always crocheting and using my hands and washing my hands a ton because of... I wash my hands a ton anyway but especially with like COVID going on it's like I wash them every like two seconds and then it dries out my fingernails and one of them broke today and it's really short and it's like really uncomfortable like I hate how it feels when you it like hurts when you break a nail or when you cut your nails too short and I like never cut my nails they they're always long I mean I cut the, I shape them and I I tend to them but I don't like cut them short so just don't like the feeling all right is this not working what is going on with this why is it taking forever um but yeah yeah, you don't need to use the bed the game gives you. You can use any bed, and it'll ask you that. So, that's kind of nice. You can literally just lay down in any bed. Fun fact. I know, it kind of makes it out like you have to use that bed that it gives you. Because it sends it to you, like, it, or it sent that to everybody after the update. But, which is a little silly to me, like, that it kind of made it out in the letter. Like, oh, use this bed to dream, because you really don't have to do that. So, why is this taking forever, this game, in a nutshell? I know, this game has the longest load screens. Like, God love this game, but they really should have thought through, like, how long some of this stuff takes. Um, oh my god, I've been using Luna's bed the whole time! Well, now you know. Now you can start using whatever you want. Um, yeah, I... 
I think I just, like, laid in bed on accident, like, right after the update. Before I even, like, did anything with Luna's bed. And it made it where, um, I was able to dream. And I was like, oh, sweet. Like, uh, otherwise I wouldn't have known either. So. Yay. Oh my god, Prince Online. Thank you for telling me this. All right, so we're going- Oh, I love this song. All right, we're gonna leave- uh, I'm gonna go on a quick break and leave this beautiful Dire Dire Docs music for you guys. Um, and I will be right back. So grab a snack, go potty, do whatever you need to do. I'll be back in a few minutes.
Hey guys, I'm back. Welcome back from the fabulous break. I hope you enjoyed some of that music going on. Um, and whoa, who's this cringer oh. behind me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, you ready for some Mario Galaxy? Uh, what's up? Who's that dude? <laughs> what? <laughs> he was just casually like, it was so funny, I was telling him before I went live again, I was like, it's actually really funny to talk to you, like, on here, when you're in the next room, you know? Also, hearing what I'm saying, like, as I'm saying it. So, there you go. Odin's back, more like Odin's surprise! <laughs> so, Odin's here, he's just gonna be chilling back here for the Mario Galaxy well, my portion. Beat, my battery's running low on my phone, so... Oh, well. Yeah, he couldn't troll anymore because his phone battery was dying. Um, and I was- we were talking about this earlier. I think that this game works the same way where... Yeah, there's a two-player mode. Yeah, the two- you can, like, collect the bits. Which is so goofy! Like, it's kind of funny. It's like the... I feel like that system was designed for, like, a parent-child experience. Where, like, the parents play the game and their, like, kid wants to play too, but... Really? I've never actually like played the two player more than like once, so I don't remember. So, all right, sweet. Also, um, not anime. Welcome to the Pimp Zone. Thank you for the follow. And let's see, Lieutenant, welcome. And Business Kong, Big Monkey. Yeah, ten out of ten reveal. Big Monk. I just love this. This Boo Mario face, by the way. It's galaxy time! Welcome back to Mario Galaxy. It's been a while since we've seen this, you guys. Hopefully you haven't missed it too much. Um... Yeah. Oh, what happened? There we go, sorry. My remote is being funny. Whoa, Cass! Thank you for the bouncy bits! I was chillin'. <laughs> I know, Jilly was uh, passed out on my bed with Odie. They were both just chilling together. And then she got in trouble because she started chewing um, cables out here again as soon as she like got up and came out. I was like, well, I'm sorry, but you're getting grounded again. All right, so we left off, you guys. We're in the bedroom still, which is probably like my least favorite dome. So I might skip around. Which I haven't really been wanting to do. I've been wanting to do, like, things in order, but I just remember that this is... <laughs> Thank you for the bouncy bits, Mr. Wario. Um, this is the part of the game where I usually, like, drop off and come back to it, like, way, way later. And I think it's that's why, because I'm just not a huge fan of the bedroom. Thank you, Psycho. Thank you guys for making us bounce. <laughs> oh, Jilly. Why can I not go in here? What the heck? Alright, so I'll show you where we are in this. We have tested at least each galaxy with one star. So, like, Gusty Garden we're done with except for, like, the Secret Star and the uh, Comet. Dusty Dune, we I think we did that for the first time right before I ended last time I streamed this. Freeze Flame, I tend to get really frustrated on. That's what, like, I get more frustrated on these galaxies, I guess. We already did the boss. We already did Honey Climb. Um, let's go... Uh, let's go Dusty Dunes, I guess. Um, but yeah. <laughs> We've seen this bit 10,000 times and I love it. I mean, it's the newest one. It's from yesterday, so... I'm glad you guys like it, and it's quick, and it probably will- I'm- that's the one I'm contemplating making my 100-bit alert, so, because like I said, the only other, like, the only amount I'm gonna have less than 100 when I update everything is gonna be 64, because that's like my number. Um, but I feel like 64 wouldn't make much sense being Jilly bouncing, so I feel like it needs to be more of a different reference. And Mario agrees. He said yes. <laughs> Thank you, Psycho! Jilly gets in trouble all the time. You get Oh no, and I am already failing. I can see after the 11th time you got that alert, you kind of get down to saying, 
bounce. And then that's yeah, and then just the one bounce. Or I could just do the bounce. Make it, make it bounce. Um, that's the thing. Like, I am gonna need to test alerts because sometimes they just don't feel as long as they are once they're, like, actually used. Like, when I'm editing them. I was talking about this yesterday, how I was like, oh, that won't be long. And then it's like, wait, that's like 15 seconds long. Maybe that's too much. It's so annoying. Alright, I'm just not a fan of this level. So um, do you still have to play with the two Joy-Cons separately? Um, yeah, because you do the... You do the... I thought there was a button. You run the person, this way. What do you mean? Is there a button where you can spin or whatever? I just shake it to spin. Oh, okay. It's, it's just like before. Well, I mean, I it's... You might be able to, I just haven't because I like the original controls, but I don't like how I can't adjust the camera for things like this. Okay. Oh, I guess I just didn't go down there. Secret star! I missed it, you guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm like skipping everything because I'm like, whatever. I know there's a green star in one of these levels. It might be this one. I can't remember. But I feel like I. Okay, I guess I'm. Huh? No, I might be able to write it. I think I can actually. No, I can. Uh, but anyway. No, dang it. I feel like I always end up getting the green star before I even get the regular star. Why am I not better at this? Oh, here we go. Um, I guess I would have needed this anyway, so. I know, I love this game so much, and it's been really, really fun to, this was like to, my first to, game. to play through. This was the first Wii game I bought after sports, yeah. When I got my Wii Aww. Honestly, for my my dad not knowing much about video games, he's got me some pretty good got you some banger like titles. Right, like, like he's had good instinct. Like when with I got it. PS2, he got me Kingdom Hearts. And it's like yes. We I got Super Mario Galaxy. PS3, which I think is the last console I ever bought for me, he got me Skyrim. So So he's had like some pretty good choices. Yeah, like he's been on the nose. I always laugh when, like, you go in- oh my god, you guys, I'm sorry. I always laugh when you go into, like, a game store and you see somebody clearly buying a game for their child. And I've seen this happen so many times, so I can only imagine, like, the workers, how many times they've seen things like this. Okay, thank you, I jumped into the treasure chest. Um, but you'll see, like, a parent walking around, like, trying to decide on a game, and- they're like, well, my son's eight years old, and they'll have, like, Grand Theft Auto in their hands that's, like, rated M, like... And it, I, so many times, the workers are like, yeah, I don't know that that's the game you want to get for them. I don't, I don't get that, because there's it's so just many like, why? games like this that are awesome. Like, right, but it's like they just see, like, I, I don't know, I, I just feel like that would never be, I would never be that parent that wouldn't go for something that that would go for something that looked realistic over something that looked cartoony. Oh, there must be a... Like on Nintendo, especially, you get, like, Splatoon. You know what I mean? Right, like, like that... Game. Like, there you go. And that's super cartoony and fun. Dang it. You know what, Mario? I'm tired of your BS. No. Uh, you know, I'll wait till that. I see. This is why I don't like these worlds that much. I guess. <laughs> yeah, the rays. super intent rays. <laughs> uh, I know so many clueless parents, and it's like I just, I, as a, if I were a parent, I would not go for something that looked really realistic like that. Well, and I'm not saying...
saying that, like... I, well, and that's, I mean, that's fair. Like, I watched my dad play Wolfenstein. I watched my dad play Doom. Um, so I saw all those games. I may not have played them myself, but I did watch somebody else play them, and it wasn't like it destroyed me or something. But, um, and I guess it just depends on how, like, conservative your parents are. Like, if they don't want you to know about anything more adult like that or whatever but like with Grand Theft Auto there are like prostitutes in that game and you like go around you're like part of the mob like I feel like that's a little bit too much yeah, I, I would not want my eight-year-old to be like wow this is the gaming experience you're having like I just would be like huh what happened to Mario I don't know it's silly to me why are there so many one-ups here in case I suck um, oh, there's the star over there. Oh my god, no. How? Oh. I think I died. I didn't see it happen, but I felt it. <laughs> okay, hold on. I need that tornado hype. Okay, give me the tornado. See, I just don't remember this world, like, hardly at all, which is part of the problem. Uh. Oh, so something needs to happen, like, on the other side. Uh, see? Like, this is why I don't remember these things. There's, like, too many steps, you guys. Yeah, like, see those blocks? I need to get rid of those. And of course I'm in the deadly sand. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Dry bones. No! Oh my god! It's very lucky. Lucky! What game is that from? Um, the Mario Advance games. I love that he says lucky. Is it in just the first? I know it's in three. It's in three, because that's the only one I had. But or by three, I mean advanced four. Yeah, which was not confusing at all. I think it's in advanced two. Does he say it in advanced one? Does he say lucky in advanced oh. one? Does anybody know? Like, who had that game? I think he does. I think when you get a one-up in that game, it's lucky. It says lucky. I'm pretty sure. Pretty cute. Was, any, was that just pointless, what I just did? You guys, uh... Okay, I gotta get back to... Now you gotta get there. Yeah, I have to get over there. So, I went the wrong freaking way, you guys. Huh. It's been too long, I don't remember what I'm doing in this game anymore. I know, it's true. No. Well, then you're good. This is definitely not a speed run. Will I make it? Oh, barely. How do I get over there? I. Yeah, I know, but I can't figure out where. Yeah, I know. No, that's it over there, but I don't know how to get over there. No, I know, but there's another hole in this area, so you get to go that one first. Are you back seating me right now? Is that what's happening over there? I'm sorry. You said that was fine. It, no, I mean, like, you were fine with what you said before, but now you're just back seating. You hear this back seat, you guys? I'm just suggesting things. Mmm. I know. You're not saying go left. Yeah. Come on, it's only right here. This is like the same exact area I went to before, so how did I not go down that hole? I must have just thought it was that area and it wasn't? I don't know. I'm lost, you guys. I'm shook. Alright, we punch that into the ground. 
Um, oh, and of course it's timed. Cool. Watch me, like, miss it right at the last second. Oh, I got it. Woo! Woo! Alright, anyway. Okay, this is why I'm not a big fan of these galaxies. They just take too long and I just don't remember them well enough, to be honest. But, yeah. Um... Let's see. Yeah, Odin backseating from the background. What are you talking about? I'm just reading comments if you can't Look, handle them. Someone's saying I w don't backseat, that's not cool. I scroll up. Yeah, little, little Gabo. Little Gabo, you're back. I see you're what? going the wrong way if I remember correctly. So Listen, Little Gabo. I'm calling you out. Yeah. All right? Little Gabo just calling out you for backseating <laughs> while also backseating. I'm calling you out. Oh, Daredevil. I don't want to do that. No. Also, welcome to the stream. All right, I'm going to go to Freeze Flame next, but I'm going to have some of my cotton candy from yesterday. So, yeah. I mean, the good thing is that... Guys, the weed whackers are outside. I'm serious. Like, they have the worst timing. It's like they know. They're like, oh my god, she's streaming? Let's go outside and, like, do a bunch of yard work. Right outside her window. Here it comes. Get ready for it. Yeah, literally. You guys know the curse if you've ever recorded anything ever. Whether it be for YouTube, Twitch, class, you name it. Literally, like, the second you go to record, something starts happening outside. Or somebody's car alarm starts going off, or so annoying. Is that a cheeseburger going around this galaxy? Is it? Is that what that was? Did you see it? Hold on, you guys. We gotta see if that's a cheeseburger. Well, that was a very dramatic exit. You see this outside right now? Do you see what's happening out there right now? There are leaves literally blowing up a storm out there. It's so annoying. Oh, that, I see what you're Yeah, look, it looks about. like a cheeseburger! <laughs> that one, from the side? <laughs> from the side. Hold on, it doesn't look like it there, but, like, watch when it goes around. <laughs> yeah, I, <see. laughs> I was like, oh my god, was that a cheeseburger? Like, I, I didn't know. Like, I get that this person's doing their job, but, like, why does their job have to conflict with my job and be very loud? I'm trying to wait until this guy, like, walks away. Here, I'm gonna mute the mic for you guys for a second.
guys, there's so many guys out there, like, blowing leaves right now. Like, there's seriously, like, six people out there. And it's like, can we not have this leaf blowing? I'm trying to wait for them to go away. Thank you for the bits, Psycho. I'm trying to wait for them to, like, get out of here. And they're not leaving. Like, they keep coming back. It's so annoying. Alright, I'm just gonna start this galaxy and screw it. Yeah. That was sad when I typed. Oh, well you were being <laughs> stealthy. You were like, ooh, I don't want to talk over her. I'm gonna, you know. Uh. So, I apologize for the noise, you guys. There's absolutely nothing I can do about it other than be incredibly annoyed by it, like all of you probably are right now. Aw, oh, ice skating! Just like Odie! You were a figure skater once upon a time, remember? Oh, they're like star chips. I didn't realize. Alright, so this is the same area we started out last time. Is that the sun over there? That's all like... Well, you can't see it from this angle when I go back around. There's the cheeseburger looking thing. I thought it was that. Mm. No, the sun? Hold on, you, that, those, yeah. That's the sun. Am I watching and texting at the same time? It's amazing what technology can do these days. Ah! Wow, look at you. Oh, Odie just being smart. The magic. It looks like a cheeseburger, it really does. I need to get a coin before I go because I already got hurt. Not that one, but... I don't know what you're talking not about. The, not the one on the right there. That's not the, that's not the cheeseburger. That's not the cheeseburger, that's just like melty cheese balls. Yeah. It looks like a melty cheese ball. Okay. Well now it doesn't really look, oh it uh, kinda does. I kinda remember this one, kind of. This galaxy is like, hey, we couldn't think of enough cool you always say that, and I always like the fire and ice idea, but Odie like hates it for some reason. Every freaking game. You know what else is in every game? A jungle stage. And I so don't care for the jungle stage. Like it's always my least favorite stage. Like it always bugs the crap out of me. I mean, you're not wrong, but it also doesn't bother me, though. Uh, okay. And I remember in my Let's Play being like, where do I go? And then I was like, I need fireballs. All right. Um... I wish that this camera was oh, a, lot, a little bit different than this. I don't think I've ever seen a speedrun of this either. Right, yeah. I honestly don't think I've seen one either. Which is, I know that they've done them at like AGDQ, but... I've just, it's like one of the ones I've always missed, or I've been like doing something during, or... I really love the graphic effect of this world though, and how it's like, fuzzy, like, because it's so hot. I think that's really cool. Ooh, fireballs! Okay. Yeah, well... I don't know. I don't know why this is, like, a temporary thing. Like, that's what I get most frustrated with in this galaxy, is that we have all these temporary ideas. Yeah, like, why would that be temporary? I'm trying to get rid of all these guys before I refresh. Like, would it really have been so bad? Yeah, like, whoa. Fireball? No! It's not a huge game. That's why I 
I don't like that. I don't like that it's like, oh, this has to be like a temporary thing. It's not hard to kill stuff in this game. No. Like, what? There's no reason. I'm glad, I'm glad you get a lot of star bits from these guys, though. Ooh. See, I like stuff like that. Like, that's cool when you, like, jump and you're suddenly on the other side. I think that's such a cool design in this game. You gotta bop me. How am I not hitting anybody right now? Yeah. Uh, uh oh. Ah. So many dudes. This game is a lot harder to talk during. Like it takes far more concentration. That's why I had to get all my, um, all my hot goss out during, uh, Animal Crossing. Yeah, can this, like, not be stupid? Thank you. That was pretty cool. But yeah. Oh, nice! <laughs> You're currently, uh, dreaming in Lost Pin. Well, that's pretty cool. Thanks for checking it out via dream suite oh crap i don't remember which way i think i need to go this other way with this yeah <laughs> clutch These guys were in, like, Paper Mario. Oh, yeah. They were! They were in Paper Mario! Ah! Okay, oh, yeah, that I'm scared me. Sleeping. Okay, I really thought I was gonna die. I failed to... Oh, you know if in a speed run they would take advantage of that. Oh, for run. sure, yeah. Skip over them. They'd just be like, oh... They wouldn't have wasted their time with that rolling log. No way. No, but I'm not that... No, I know, I'm just trying to think. Like, yeah, like, what they would do. I think this is the other thing I had trouble with, like, in my Let's Play. I mean, it kind of worked to my advantage. Dang it, Mario! get over to that side before I can do anything. I just need to stay Stop! still. Dang it, you idiot! I don't want to do this again! This is why I don't like this galaxy, you guys! So annoying. I'm already missing health now. Although, in theory, I should be better at this now. Okay. No! Okay, come on. Give me a coin. I don't like these fire guys. They cramp my style. Cramping my style. Blah, blah, blah. And then I'm ruining my own. You can't, like, get out of that. Like, once you're stuck in it, you can't get out of it. 
I remember doing this on my Let's Play too. I knew that this stage was frustrating. I'm not going into this with like one health. Um, I knew the stage was frustrating for a reason, and I couldn't remember why, and this is why. This is why. So yeah, I don't like these, like, gimmicky mechanics where, you know, you basically take a hit and that's it. Like, you're done. Which is a lot of this world. And a lot of why I'm not a big fan. No, like, this should just be a power-up. Like, a normal thing. Oh, if that had gotten it, I would've been... Oh, I got one. Okay, good. The other one should be easier to get. Do you have to run around like that, Mario? Like... I don't know that I can... Oh, I did! I got it somehow! Okay. Yeah, I took that guy out and then I lit him again. <laughs> really annoying. Woo! Okay. Sorry guys, that was a little bit, took a little bit more concentration than some of the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Shy guy for days up, ladies! Mm -hmm. Big shy G. Alright, we're gonna save. Yes. And then... Let's see, we have one more freeze flame. Um, dusty dune. Oh, I got a hydrate? Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, the hid start gusty galaxy. Thanks, Cass. Uh, what did we. We haven't done this one. I think that. I know, it's like, where is it? Oh, you know what? We have a Luigi star, too. We need to do that as well, which would be a good break from some of these. Wait, oh, is that question? Where the hidden, is yeah. That where the hidden star is on that question mark? Yeah. That's pretty funny. I like that it does that, so you know which one to go for. You know if it was an older game, it would not do that, though. You'd just be like, figure it out. It's like, ah. No, but, I mean, there's a literal question mark, like, planet shape. Mm-hmm. It's cute. Hype song, hype salad. Hopefully I don't pass this because last time I tried to do this I feel like I just passed it and I went the regular way. But I think this is, uh, I think I need these because I think it's a Hungry Luma. From what I remember anyway. Uh, thank you for the follow, C. C. Lemon. I really thought I wasn't gonna make it, and I was like so ready. Oh my god. Get out of here, big. What's that guy's name? Rocky? Yeah. Big Rocky. What's his full name, though? Rocketh. Rocketh. Rocketh Wrench. Rocky is not Rocky. Like... No, he has to have like a more sophisticated name than that. Dwayne. Dwayne. That's not cool enough. Like Dwayne Rock Johnson. Oh, I guess that could be cool then. I like Rocketh better. I, I like Rocketh, you guys. I like rocketh my socketh. Oh no. Come on, I need bits. Now I also need a freaking coin because I am not as good at this as I should be. Oh, sweet. Thank you. That was easy. 
Oh, remember when uh, Burger King had the Pokemon toys? That was like this time of year, like a million years ago. I still have Probably like the, 20 uh, years ago now. I still have the uh, gold card Pokemon. I don't think I ever got the gold cards. You had to buy, you had to buy them. Yeah, like, I, I just wouldn't have gotten those because I would have been like, I want the mystery toy, but I love the ones that were, like, plush. <laughs> well, th yeah, but, like, Not you would just ask. Your kid's meal. Right. That was just yeah. It was the kid's meal, and then it was the big kid's meal. Oh, that gold, that gold guy. Look at how cute he is! I love Gold Chomp! Is that if, maybe... Oh shoot, that's not what I do though. What do I do for him? I don't remember what to do. What do I do? Backseat me. Oh, do you actually? Yeah, because I don't remember. I think on somewhere on this planet, you have to get a. Uh, don't, I don't think you want to take I don't want to do that because that's what I did last time. I, I want to see on the other side of the planet, there's like a rainbow star or something. You have to run into oh, the okay. I was like, I know I did this before, and I just went right past it, like, oh, I'll find something later, and then I never did, so. Okay, so I gotta go. Back. Uh. I know, like... I think so. I don't know, guys. No. I'm trying to figure it out. I can't remember. It's been too long. I'm positive that's what you do. Yeah, no, that makes sense because how else would you get that guy? He's so cute, though! I love Gold Chomp! I love him. Say, I think you can spin into the rock. I don't know like that. Into their gym. I don't know if that does anything, but. Uh... That's kind of like hard to do, though. Well, it's especially hard to do if you're dead. Anyway. What? I have to go all the way back here? You guys, what the heck? That's too far back. Oh, okay. No. Look, all I, all, all I wanted was gold chomp, you guys. All I wanted was gold chomp. And it poop butt stinks. I might have to get it from a previous planet and launch over there and run, maybe. Maybe. No, you idiot! The... Oh, get out of here, Robert, or whatever your name is. No, that's Bomb Oms or Robert. Robert Om. Oh my god, that's not even what I wanted to do. Yeah, I just can't remember, but look at how cute he is over there! I love Gold Chomp! Anything like this? No. What's this bug doing? Get out of here! I think this is the same thing. I don't understand! Uh, like that? Like just... <laughs> Not like that. I don't know how to do that without it being like the... Terrible timing. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. Like, there's no, no way that's what I did before. 
Oh, you think I have to get all the gold coins to get the rainbow? Oh, you're probably right, because I keep missing it. And you know, I think I did get them the first time, and I ignored whatever happened. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, that's good, because this guy will go up there. Come on, Mario. Mario! What are you doing? <laughs> okay, I was like, there's no way it was that difficult. That was so obvious. Why do I suck? Well, I didn't either. I didn't know you had to kill those but he's so Mario. cute! I didn't want to! <laughs> okay, so this was not a hungry Luma like I thought it was going to be. Get your star. Alright, cool. Thanks, Shy Guy. We were, uh, stumped. It's not like I haven't played this before or, like, done it before, so it's not like, oh my god, you're spoiling something. Like, I've done this before, I just couldn't remember. Woohoo! Oh, big star hype. Oh, well, I couldn't remember how to get it anyway, so... You had good ideas, but not the right idea, unfortunately. Okay, so then that puts us at, um, 54 stars. We've got Cosmic Comet in orbit. Oh my god, no. I hate the racing ones, you guys. We have Dusty Dunes. I know that has a green star in it somewhere, and it might be on this last star, I think, because I feel like it would show it if it wasn't. Um, we had a comet over here, and it's the uh, Daredevil, which isn't too bad of a Daredevil comet. I just don't like those, so I didn't do that earlier. And then there's the Cosmic Comet in orbit here. Um, I'm going to go back, though, and I'm going to find Luigi, because we do have a Luigi letter from... I think Battle Rock Galaxy is where he is right now. Yeah. It is, though. Pretty goofy. I do like, like that that's part of this game. No, not yet. This one pipe is not, or cord isn't lit. Oh, so this is um, like the No, not yet. Okay. Bro, I gotta start, but now I can't get back. This picture shows where I am. Help me. Bro. Bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't want to quit. Okay. How do I not do this? Okay. Alright, so anyway, we gotta go back in. Is it in here? I don't remember. It's either in here or in the fountain. We have... That's in the fountain. Alright. I think the last one was in here. Which stage? Battle Rock Galaxy. Yeah, that sounds like a... Like, there's none of the other, like, landmark stages. Like, that's like a landmark stage. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's... It's, it's true. That it's like, like, Good Egg is the one. Well, I don't know. Well... Yeah, it's got the honey one. In yeah. I love the honey galaxies. I guess I took the long way of getting here, but I also didn't remember it was over here, so. Whoa! Mystery green star! Alright, so there's our hint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the one that Luigi has. Whoa! He's in one of those, like, Torpedo Theodore, um, cages. <laughs> Whatever! I was saying this too! He's in one of the to Torpedo Theodore cages at the end. We only say full names here, you guys. Obviously. Alright, so I gotta get- I gotta play this just like normal, basically. Um, okay. Yeah, Bullet William's cousin. Their dads are bros. 
Obviously. Oh, that lore. I know. Su <laughs> such deep lore for this. Okay. Such good music in this game. Absolutely amazing. One of the best Mario soundtracks. It would still be good. Don't don't lie, but that do, just makes it I think beyond. This game would just be like, you know, it would just be like a regular. It would be Mario like a good game. Mario game, but the music makes it like, oh, this is the best. Like this is this is it, you guys. This is what it's all about. Okay, there are the bumblebee bombs. That's what they look like to me. They look like bumblebee balls or something. Oh yeah, they do! They look like the Mewtwo balls. There's another ball that looks like this, it's kind of like black... Oh, luxury, ball. luxury ball, that's Maybe it. That's, that's what I was thinking of too, though. Is that not what he uses? No. <laughs> what if he used a bunch of luxury balls? Oh, that's right. I don't know. I don't know if anybody else here has watched like the new, oh, oh, the new Pokemon movie that was like the remastered Mewtwo Strikes Back on uh, Netflix, but it really was not very good. Like, it was just so slow. Like, it was so slow paced, and I don't know that the original was any better, but it just didn't feel as slow paced for some reason. So I don't know. I don't know what if anybody here has any thoughts on that, but it was just, like, not... Oh, there he is. <laughs> it was just not as, like, you know, uh, energetic as I was hoping for or expecting. And I know that might sound kind of weird, but seriously. I'm gonna get all this stuff out of the way first. These are missile Williams. Oh, Missile Williams. Yeah, Torpedo Theodore's in the water, right? Missile William is Bullet William's twin brother. Okay. <laughs> but because not, I would name not, my twins the same name, They're you guys. not uh, identical twins, they're uh, fraternal. fraternal twins. <laughs> there you go. What a great, uh, great, great lore right there. No, William's their last name. Oh. So you want the first name oh, I guess William's is this. like a last name, isn't it? Oh, what? Come on, you guys. If you're gonna be villains, you gotta be better villains than this. Like. Oh. Uh, I also have to be a better hero than this if I want to. Oh, pro strats! Pro strats! Well, they just caved in. Ah, anyway. Uh, yeah, give me your power star. Whoa, it's a big green one for Luigi. And it's upside down. Yeah. You see what he said? He's like, you can only have this until Rosie gets it. Wow. I mean, that sounds like something I would say to my sister as a kid. Like, don't, you know, you're not allowed to take credit for this. Like, Wolf Jacobs, how's it going? Welcome to the Strem de la Strem. Dang, that was a lot of bits. Ooh, we've discovered a new galaxy, and it's probably... Oh, it's Bonefin, you guys. We discovered Bonefin. That was the only one that was missing from... <laughs> Thank you, Psycho. That was the only one that was missing from the engine room that I keep calling the garage. By mistake, when the garage is actually a place, so I need to stop doing that. Did you know that, or are you... No, I know that, but I keep okay. accidentally... I didn't know if it, like, told you okay. it's just... It's just No, it's just me remembering, but I'm like, I keep calling it the garage, because it just seems like that's what it would be. And, and, it, the, garage and the garage the seems really weird. Like, the garage does not feel like a garage. It should be, like, the garden or something. Oh, like, there is a garage part. That, I thought that's where the toads hung out. No. Oh, wait, maybe you're right. I'm thinking of the last dome. 
That maybe is the garden. I don't know. I don't remember you guys. One of you probably knows. Isn't, can't you pull up a map if you go to somewhere? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess the garage is just that area where, like, the ship is because it's not a dome. It's just, like, a rando. Alright, we have Gusty Garden, we did Dusty Dune, and Priest Flame. We did Dusty Dune first, though, so we'll go back. And I think this is where we get the last green star anyway, so this might be nice to try and get that next, if possible. And then we'll have all three. Alright, Sunbaked Sandcastle. I can't remember, is it just after you get the stars in this game? Does that unlock three stages, or is it just unlock one stage? It unlocks three stages, I'm pretty sure. That's what I thought, but I just couldn't remember. The stages that everybody loves. Yes. Mario said yes, so confirmed. Oh, okay. <laughs> confirmed. Alright, I am... You know... Of this. Oh, it's the chicken! The chickens! I love the chickens, you guys. They're kind of weird, but, like, I love them. This, this feels like a Mario Party minigame. <laughs> like this does. And avoid the pooping chicken! <laughs> Poopy chickens! Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm stuck. He does. It's because he's like, I have to walk on all fours again in this game. <laughs> like, what is my life? <laughs> I don't know. I guess. It's true, though. He never walks on all fours, except for, like, Mario 3. You don't even walk on all fours on that game. They walk on two legs. Okay. Or no, I mean he hasn't walked on all fours since Mario 3. It's probably not true. I'm just making stuff up, you guys. Alright, I get the bits. The OG bits. I wish I could, like, wall jump like this in real life. Pretty useful. I know, I'd be like, ooh. I'm getting it. Need two more. Crap. Oh no! 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 That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, you guys. I messed up. Get out of here, dry bones! I'm trying to live my life! Uh. Oh, it's on the other side. I was like, why is this not popping back up? Okay, well, I know where one of these is. The other one, I don't know where it is. There's also way too many dry bones here, you guys. Yeah. Okay, there's four. Look around. That's not helpful. I feel like I remember not knowing where to go with this, too. During my Let's Play. Did I ever know what I was really doing in my Let's Play, though? Let's be real. Because it's all like trying to remember things that you've done like one time. But haven't you played this game besides your Let's Play? No? I had, yeah. But like, it's just hard, to, hard for me to remember. Right. What just happened? Okay. I'm going to go down to the sledge. Didn't do anything. Where is this last star chip? I don't know where the last star chip is, you guys. 
Oh, what? Okay, that's where it is. Alright, so I have to kind of fall. Fall and hit. Which isn't complicated at all. Wow, cool. Oh, I could have just, like, fallen on the ledge. Okay. I'll eventually get it, you guys. I know, they're so mad! I know, they are cute. Oh, shoot. No. Okay. Yes, <laughs> I was like, that was kind of clutch. I took a hit, but I didn't have a fit, so it's... If you fell, I don't care. No, I mean, like, I took a hit by my own Koopa shell, which was kind of stupid, but... Wasn't the worst, so... Hold on. Give me one of these dang coins! Okay. I know, what is this? I don't even know what's happening here. What? I don't even know what I just did. Okay. I'm busting out of here. Uh... Oh, I remember this part. I remember it being just fabulous. Wait. Doesn't this just... Oh. What? That's not what I was thinking. Maybe I don't remember this part then. Maybe I just don't remember. Look at this little oasis. No. Oh, thank you for the bits! Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I don't know what. I think I have to hit this guy though. I think. Yeah. Oh, that's not easy. What? I just don't... Oh. Oh! Here we go. Did I get him? No. I didn't get him, you guys. I didn't get him. I gotta, like, push this. Yeah! Come on, get his face, get his face. Yeah, girl! Okay, I did it. No, you've gotta be kidding me, I was right there! Okay. I know, Shy Guy, that's how I feel. Every time I do it, like, I- it takes me, like, a hundred years to figure out, because, like, I can't remember anything I'm supposed to do. And... Yeah. Um... I had to cut this- well, I'm not surprised that I had to cut part of this out of my LP episode. That sounds like something I probably would have had to do for this level, based on my lack of memory for it. Um... No, what? Oh, I didn't realize that was like a death sand, you guys. Okay, well, it doesn't matter, because I'm literally right back here, and I get all these star bits again. I don't either. I'm not a big desert world person. They're not my favorite. The only reason Mario 3 gets a pass is because there's not really any, like, it's desert themed, but. Right, but it's no, not, like, like gimmicky. It's not a gimmick to it. Like, That's what I don't like. I don't like gimmicky <clears throat> deserts. Like. Actually, the only quicksand part of that is in the sun level. Like, it's very easily jumped through. Right. It's not exciting. Oh, it had to tell me what to do. That's pretty, that's pretty bad. Okay, so this is the quicksand part that I'm pretty sure the green star is in this area, like, as it's... Wait, what? Maybe I should be smarter than this, you guys. Oh my god, no. Like, as it's sinking. 
stop getting stuck on stuff. like leaning like that's gonna help or I'm leaning in real life like maybe if I lean it won't do it <laughs> I don't know why I always give you this glare like do you see what happened that's no this I don't think it's in this area actually because I'm remembering something different like, I'm remembering, like, being right side up, not upside down. Also, I'm just bit collecting because... What better time? Uh, Flo, giving it a bah! Yeah. Okay, let's not be really terrible at this, you guys. I kept getting stuck on stupid stuff, though. I was so close! At least now if I die, it's not really a death, because I got that extra life. The game knows. Oh my god. Yeah, it just moves. And does absolutely nothing to help you. Oh my god, no. Go Mario, go! No, you idiot! No! No! Oh my... <laughs> ah! I did the wrong thing. I tried to do a long jump, and this is why I never do long jumps, because every time I try to do them, I just freaking ground pound and get... and die most of the time. <sighs> oh, sweet. Another... Wait, I got that, Ba. I already redeemed that bar. Oh, okay. Um, thank you for the bits, shy guy. This is so dumb. I don't like how it gives you this like oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. like this really uh hardcore music too. <laughs> It does! You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need this adding to it. There we go. There we go. Now I'm a pro. Come on, ladies. I can't, like, do this and not lean to the side. No. Yeah, girl! Alright. So, that wasn't what I was talking about. There's another level, which it'll show now. It'll be like, oh, there was a mystery here. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, but it wasn't that one. But it is a similar gimmick. Oh, Casanova! Thank you for the big win bits! Thank you, Cass. GG. Wow, GG. I know. It's kind of funny when Siri says it though. Okay, Cosmic Comet's back at Freeze Flame. Dusty Garden, we just have the Comet Star. Yeah, so the Green Star, I don't know which one it's in. There's also a Hidden Star in Dusty Dunes. I guess I'll attempt this Comet, and if I get really irritated, I'm just gonna say forget it and move on to something else. To a different planet. Or a different mission. But first, I'm gonna have some CC. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh. Well, I had nothing clever, so unfortunately. Mm. I know. Did you guys see me like leaning like that was gonna help? I don't know why I felt like that would help, but. I already don't like this. I already don't like this. Look at how long this is! I don't know. 
I don't want to do this. Thank you, Cosmic Mario. It does. Balls. Oh no. Oh yeah, I have to ice skate. Don't show up. No. Oh, I didn't know. At least he runs some of the time instead of skating. Daffy! Daffy! He is a sing Daffy! Oh, I'm not skating. Why am I not skating? Ah! Oh, I did it! Woo! That was like the easiest one yet! Daffy! Daffy! Casanova, have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much for stopping by and for the bits. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Mm. I know, I, did, I actually did something well. Woo! Okay. Hmm. 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 Alright, let's see. Let me see if I can get that green star. Hmm? I know. I think we need a Hungry Luma for this one. And I think I remember seeing it last time. This is the green one? Or no, I didn't see it last time, but I know to look for it. Like, I can see it in my memories. Yeah, so the green one is here. Oh, you suck. No. I do like that, like, depending on how you kill an enemy, like, it gives you different things. Like, if you jump on them, it gives you coins. If you spin into them, it gives you, uh, star bits. Mm. Ooh. Okay. So this is gonna show where we already went. Uh. And ah, there it is. I was like, I know it's like not. What are you doing, Mario? Just go. What? I know it's not hard to find, but I don't know that we have enough bits. Is the only problem. So. Okay, give me a bunch of star bits. I'll be cool. 20? Okay, I don't have 20, I don't think. 19! That's the biggest tease I've ever seen! I don't know. I need like a... Oh, no. I might be able to get some from here, from... No. I think there was a rainbow star. Yeah, there was, the but I'm side. trying to like okay. go and it's very not easy. It was like on the other side of this. No. Yeah. How many of these things are there? this to collect extras. Okay, there we go. He's so fat, but he just needed that one more, you guys. I hope you guys are having a good time and enjoying this. Also, Gamer Michael, welcome to the stream. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody else who walked in. 
A new planet was born! Oh my gosh, Psycho! Thank you for the big limpets! I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, so this thing goes, like, down and fills up with sand. Mm, what I remember. And I gotta collect these guys while we find our way around. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that so soon. No, no, no. bad it's almost good thank you mr oreo so bad it's almost good this level well maybe not i don't know it's not the worst but it's not my favorite not the worst but not the best there aren't enough chickens in it don't you agree Odie? Yeah, there's not enough of those poopy chickens. Also, that was not the way to go. Okay. I don't know, this may be the way I went before this. But if it is, I'm just gonna keep going over by one until I find all of these guys. Oh, you gotta find the silver star? Yeah. I think this is the exact one that I Ooh, went through last time. Over here. Yeah, there's one already. I don't know if the green star. I remember this not being that difficult, but. Not what I wanted to do, but okay. Oh, I think maybe these two are connected at a point or something. I don't know. Oh no, that was what I needed to do. Perfect. And whoa! There it is! Okay, that somehow worked out, even though I thought I did things wrong. Pretty hype! Yeah, I just have to make my way back down there. Which is easier said than done, what the heck? <laughs> how can I know- how can it take this long? There we go. Yay! Final green star! Final green star, you guys. So we're gonna go out and talk to Rosalina this time. Yeah! Star number 58. We only need two more to be able to unlock the final uh, Bowser battle. Oh, we get a new storybook chapter! How cute! All right, you've managed to recover all of the green power stars and restore the green launch star. Oh my god, no. They're all really difficult, though, so we're probably not going to do any of those right now. Um, even I don't know what's waiting for you out there beyond the green launch star. Yes. Um, so what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'll go over and show this off really quickly, just what's going on over here, because it's really, really cute. And then we'll go have story time, and then I think I'm going to call it for the day. So, um, alright. The trial galaxies merely reflect your own abilities. You may find great joy or great disappointment. Wow. Um, the doorway to the trial galaxies has been restored. May the light of the cosmos be with you, brave challenger. That sounds like something out of Katamari. Uh, you may try three types of trials. If you truly are the one who can save the universe, you will pass them all. Wow, no pressure. Um, and then here we have Big Luigi's back. Find 
finding power stars is harder work than I thought. But if I don't give my all, the universe will fall into Bowser's claws. You're not the hero of this game, Luigi. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, let's go um, check this out. And it has a fidget spinner in the sky, so that kind of determines what is what. Uh, so we have want to go to the Rolling Gizmo. I'm just gonna go through the names of these. We can try maybe like one, but um, want to go to the Loop D Swoop. I remember not liking this one. Did, did I really like any of these though? I don't think so. And then, last but not least, although these might be easier with the new controls, want to go to the Bubble Bla- No. Oh, okay. So let's try one of these, and then I'm pretty sure this just takes you back. Yeah. Yay, new pipe. Okay, except it disappears. Alright, um, maybe we'll try the first one I walked up to. I don't know, probably gonna fail at this, but we'll attempt. <clears throat> we'll attempt it. If it's too poop scoop, then we'll just go to story time. <laughs> Gizmos, gears, and gadgets. Short terabyte, welcome. Oh, the, 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 I don't know if I agree with this, but it does have a really cute scenescape and it has really cute music. And is overall a fun. Uh, aesthetic? It's not really a fun time, so... Yep. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> I was really thinking I'd do better than that, but uh... <laughs> I really thought I'd do better than that, but I guess not. <laughs> yeah, this this is not this is not my fave bay. Like this just got no. Okay, no. We're we're leaving. <laughs> Scott man, thank you for the bits. See, this is the sign I was telling you about. It goes, hey. It yells at you when you uh, talk to it. Isn't it cute? Yeah. Oh, it's a uh, William board. That's Wait, amazing. have we met before? <laughs> anyway, you can only get through here with Vault. Get on it too. Oh, I was just like this. No oh, wonder it was going so fast. Sense. Okay, I have to be upright. I can't be like this or else it's going to be like... <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do this wrong this time, but I... Still no promises. I should have all the starpents are green. Yeah. See, I was kind of better. At least you know how to control it now. Okay, hold on, one more time. Oh my god, I, if I can get up here. Get on the ball. Thank you. Oh wow, you just killed Bill Board. I killed Bill? <laughs> Kill Bill. Oh my god. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry you guys, but. Th this is your preview. I'm going back to the observatory. I'm sorry. Anyway, you can see how difficult these are. Oh, and the toad's back. Like, um, Peach said you needed more lives because you just wasted, like, five in the past ten seconds where you attempted that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, see you later. <laughs> Instant fail. <laughs> I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. That was, uh, not what I was intending. Okay, I'm gonna show the others. The others are probably gonna be the same story, but I will show you guys. I feel like this is the one- did I even beat one of these on my LP? If I did, it was probably this one. But I don't even know that I covered this. I know I showed it off, but I don't know that I, like, actually completed these galaxies. It was probably about like now. The galaxy's greatest wave. So are these like the hardest stages in the world? Yeah, the, I mean that's the idea. Yeah, this was really hard to control with the Wii Remote and it's 
probably really hard to control now, so we'll see. I like how all the hard stuff in this game is awkward motion gimmicks. Yep, <laughs> like, that's really cool, thanks. Yeah, we realized it was really bad, so we decided, so we decided to, make to make you guys suffer, yeah. Alright, so... Yeah, we've got three minutes. I'm pretty sure I did this really slowly and I ran out of time. Like, I don't think that I... I mean... Okay. <laughs> Yippee! Uh... <laughs> Again, probably gonna be the same story, and it's bubbles, and I hate this bubble mechanic, so it's kind of the worst. Um, yeah, exactly. I I remember a lot of screaming trying to do this one in the past. The electric labyrinth. Oh boy. Um, yeah. Wow, old enough to party! <laughs> yeah, old enough? Old enough for what? Old enough to party? <laughs> it's like, wow, that's like the most awkward thing you could have said. Oh, it's Philip Board! Oh, Philip Board! Oh my god, I love that Philip is in this game. Okay, you're going to need a bubble to get past here, so try and remember how to control bubble. Watch out for these electric rails. All right, where's my bub? All right, so we basically have to blow our bubble around without failing. Oh. No. It's a bubble. Okay, and then that takes us back here. We'll go counterclockwise. We go. It gives us a little extra life. Like, oh. This one's not as bad as I remember yet. But then again, I think I just got in the hang of this mechanic more, maybe. I love those bubbles! Mm. Yeah, that's really not what I was hoping this would do, but... I didn't get it over in that other area, so I was like nervous I missed something cool. Okay. I love that this was literally the one I was like, no, and then it's like the one that I'm having the easiest time with, somehow.
Oh, I guess that's the one you're supposed to go in first, because it's like, tap A to push the bubble. Or the one they assume you'll go in first? I don't know. Where's the... Put it far enough away. Alright, cool. Whoa. Whoa. Are you serious? Is that Siri? No. Freaking Siri. Oh no, William. We don't need the pressure of this. wasn't even oh, breathing. Okay, now. good. I'm okay. glad they start you here, because I, I was gonna say, if I have to do all that again, yeah. I'm not doing it. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. Okay, this isn't so bad, but... <laughs> I really God. thought I would do the whole thing again. Still, that's, like, way too much. Wait, this could just be... Like, why? Enough. Why is this, like, uh, the second part of it? Like, come on! Like, this could just be its own level. I know, I was like, oh my god, if I get it in this, like, one go, I'm gonna be so... Yeah. Oh yeah, you know that they're, like, really quick. And this is probably... Oh, dang it, this is probably where their, like, PB comes into play. <clears throat> okay. We're almost there. It's just, if it didn't have the freaking torpedo guys, it'd be fine, but because it does, it's a lot more difficult than I would like. No, 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 no. Nice to hide. Nice. Hide. It's insane. Oh, that was close. Close, close, close. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? It's like a speed run. I'm not trying to go this fast! I'm that needle. Okay, these guys at the end are what I kind of. Wait, you're getting lines. Oh my god, if this is not oh. over soon. <laughs> you, ah! you, like, <laughs> you're like a millimeter away from that electric fence. Holy crap. I did it! Woo! I did one of them! Oh my god, my hand is so sweaty. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I cannot believe how close <laughs> that electric fence. Thank you, Scott, man. Woo! Oh my god. Thank you. What? Well, yes. Woo! That was a lot. That was intense. Wow. See, we're one star away from the big reveal. But we're going to save that for next time. Although I am going to do story time before we close out. Holy crap. I wasn't really expecting to do that. I was expecting to like instantly fail at that one too. And then be like, oh, okay. Done. 
but no, I did it. Yay, I'm so proud of myself. Okay. So this is chapter five, six, oh, seven. Never mind. Chapter seven, the telescope. All right. After seeing their hundredth comet, a sudden thought popped into the girl's head. I wonder if my home planet is still as blue as it was. Like she's on the bazooka. <laughs> It does. That's when she remembered her father's telescope. Peeking into the telescope, a tiny blue dot floated into sight. It was smaller than a star bit. How strange. It's so far away, but it feels so close. Ah. She twisted the knob of the telescope and the blue dot grew until she could make out a grassy hill dotted with flowers. It seemed very familiar to her. Zooming even closer, a terrace on the hill came into view. I used to go stargazing there when I lived at my home planet. On my home planet, sorry. She remembered rubbing the sleep out of her eyes as she followed her father up that hill to look at the stars. She remembered how she and her brother would sled down that hill. She remembered having picnics with her mother on that hill on bright and windy days. And... ah, I want to go home! I want to go home right now! The girl burst into tears and the Lumas didn't know what to do. I want to go home! I want to go back to my house by the hill! I want to see my mother! The girl was shouting now, her face wet with tears. But I know she's not there. I knew all along that she wasn't out there in the sky because, because... She's sleeping under the tree on the hill. Big reveal. The girl's cries echoed through the stars and a hush fell over the area. Wow, what a way to end this uh, chapter. That should do it for today. Yeah, so I remember when I first played through this game I kind of knew that was coming I was like well this probably has a sad-ish kind of um lore to it so yeah that's one of the big sad chapters but not to end on a, a bittersweet note but you know anyway uh that oh oh my god Holy crap, Aurora Peachy with the raid of 130? Oh my gosh, welcome raiders. Thank you so much for stopping by and for raiding. I appreciate that. Oh my god, and thank you for the follow. Rebel with a royal heart and lonerism. And Psycho, thank you for the bits. Oh my god, thank you so much. Welcome, Raiders! Let me get, uh... Wow! Thank you guys so much for the follows, Aurora Peachy! We're just playing Pikmin 3! Thank you so much for the raid! You guys are awesome! Oh my god! Oh, did it? Oh, awesome! That's amazing! Thank you guys so much for the raid and for being here! Um, I'm Madame Wario. I... I am basically a Mario Party and Animal Crossing streamer mainly, but we've also been working with Mario Galaxy lately and loving it. Oh my god! Psycho! Thank you so much for the 2,000 bits! Oh my god, you guys. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. R welcome, Raiders. Welcome, everybody. Psycho, thank you so much for the bits. I gotta give all of you guys thoughts. And thank you for all the follows as well. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, and I gave you a, I gave you some Doritos too. Oh my god, really? Oh, Aurora Peachy, that means so much to me. That's incredible. I'm so, like, honored to have inspired you. Thank you so much. And thank you for your support to my channel for all the years. That means so much to me. I appreciate that. By the way, the bit alert you're seeing is, um... Oh, thank you, Psycho. The the bit alert you just saw was of me and my three sisters playing uh, Mario Party for my, I believe it was my seven-year anniversary. So, thank you so much. And 
right Thersos and Specky, thank you for the follows. Thank you so much, everybody, for raiding. We were just about to cap it off, but if everybody's here, we might as well do one last star, because we have one star to go before, um... What are you talking about? No way. There's no way. Psycho, thank you so much for the gift sub to Aurora Peachy. Thank you so much. Uh, and Aurora, welcome to the Bot family. I hope you had a fabulous stream playing Pikmin 3. I've actually never played Pikmin before. I've never played any of the Pikmin games. Um, but I do like the design. I think it has a very like cute design and cute aesthetic. I'm a fan. Now, Bobo, how do you feel about inspiring somebody who went on to have Peach in their username? Look, I I don't I don't discriminate. I do... Everybody loves their characters, okay? Everybody has their characters that they love. I just want to give you some crap. Oh my gosh, but welcome to everybody who's here. I'm sorry, I didn't get the chance to say hi to everybody, so I'll just start saying hi to everybody I see now. So, um, Noah, we have... TSG James R, Aurora Peachy in the chat, uh, Automatic Samurai Robot, uh, who else do we have in here? Just everybody, everybody coming on in. Uh, Rise Arc, Arch, sorry, I said that wrong. Uh, Alcar Kalimi, Kal sorry, Kalimo, I'm so bad at names sometimes, you guys. Area Zone, or Aria Zone. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm sorry for butchering everybody's names. You love coming in as a raid and then having the streamer butcher your name. That's like part of the experience, I guess. Um, we are in the bedroom currently. Isn't that exciting? And we are, like I said, we have one more star to do. I don't know which one to do. Well, we can't do that one because that's a comet. Freeze flame. Well, let's do freeze flame because we've done three on all the other planets, but. <clears throat> ah, well, thanks, TSG. I appreciate it. Hot and cold collide. Pretty sure I remember this, and I'm not the biggest fan. Oh, wait, this is literally what we just did in the race, except hot and cold. Okay, never mind. This is not what I was thinking it was. I think I was actually thinking of the first star of this, and I thought we had to redo it for some reason, but maybe not. But yeah, welcome, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for being here. This is gonna be um, my last star before we call it for the day. But you know, I gotta, I gotta give some love to you raiders out there because you're awesome. Oh, and I gotta immediately fail because that's what I do on this game. I was kind of hoping this would just start at that race area, but then it didn't. Also, joining me is uh, my beau Odin's back. He's the one in the back there for anybody who's like, who's that guy? Uh. Hey, going into the cheeseburger. Oh my god, it's the cheeseburger! This thing looks like a cheeseburger from far away, we established earlier. Oh, you know what? I think this is maybe what I was thinking of now that I see this. Although, I feel like I'm just... Blah, 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 blah. I'm just confusing, like, some of the galaxies together. I don't know. No, no, no. Okay. They're easy to confuse, though, because, you know, they're all, like, intertwined, kind of. Like, they're not all exactly the same, but a lot of the time, like, they share parts of different stages and, you know. Yeah, I do remember doing this. Um, I think this is one of the last galaxies I did before I decided to LP this game. Oh. Cool. No. What was that? I don't know. I think it's because I was in the water. It got me. Oh, like it's too cold. Yeah. Uh. Hello. Mess messy legend six five six five. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the pimp zone. But yeah, I hope you had a good stream, Aurora. Oh my god, no. Okay. 
And hope you're enjoying that Pikmin. When did it come out? Like I said, I think it was like a couple days ago. Just a couple days ago? Yeah. Well, I think it was in October, and it's November. So yeah. Maybe almost a week now? It was recent. I just don't know what. October 30th? Okay, so. Oh, okay, so literally like. So Friday. Yeah. Really. Oh, you guys also said Friday as I said it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I just overlooked 30. the Friday <laughs> comments and just said the October 30th part. Have you ever played Pikmin? I've never played a Pikmin game. I've never played Pikmin either. I don't know I've... if I'd like it, honestly, from what I've seen. Right. I mean, like, I hear people really like it, but I don't know if it's for me. I know people that just love it. And I remember watching a lot of people back in the day Let's Play it. Um, I always want to give Pikmin 3 a go, but they, from what I heard, from what I've seen of it, it seems more of a... Kind of like an adventure game, and the other ones feel like it's kind of like a survival game. I, mm -hmm. I, I might be wrong, but I don't know, from what I... I honestly don't know enough about it, just other than just the design and the characters. I know my sister really enjoyed Pikmin um, back in the day. I don't know how much she plays, if she's played any of the recent games. I know she played the first one, but... Alright, I don't like this timed stuff here. I also don't like these guys. Cramping my style. Oh my god. Right, yeah. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Dang it, I need coins. Alright, so I have to go to the other side and light those torches. Huh? For health. I want to have six health. I'm OCD <laughs> with this. Why did I just burn myself? No way. This game is BS is what I'm saying, you guys. Look, I tried to do one thing and it's like, oh, you wanted to uh, do this really dumb thing that you weren't even trying to do at all. <sighs> this is not how I wanted this to go. Thanks for stopping by, Roy. I appreciate it. Big yeah, raid. thank you so much for the big raid. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And thank you so much for your kind words. It really does mean a lot to me. And thank you to everybody else who's who stuck around from the raid. I appreciate it. Even though this camera is terrible. Why does it like I don't know! Like, why does this game want me to fail? <laughs> That's all it is, you guys. The game itself is like, I know, you could fail. Okay. I'm out of the cheeseburger, you guys. And now I'm to the last part of this level. ba na ba na ba Okay, so we need to freeze the lava. Oh my god. You can skate on it. Ooh. Oh, it's time. I was like, what's the. It doesn't seem like there's any challenge. Come on. Okay. Luckily, we did that race first, so now this feels like we've already practiced this. Oh, that may not have been smart. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, my God, no! I would have made it, honestly. Like, I know, but I choked! Uh, Guys, I choked. I'm sorry. More <laughs> I didn't mean to choke. This is what happens. I was like, oh, this will be easy. Skates off the edge. Yeah, that's right, Goomba. I do love that he does these, like, spins in the air. Those axles, though. 
He's all about that Olympic medal. We've we've played uh Mario and Sonic. Well, I have. I don't know if you have. I used to have the London Olymp the Summer Olympics. And they were it was it was really really funny. It was really funny. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> To get like fourth place because it would show you like uh why am i doing it? why am i choking it would show you like standing next to the podium crying <laughs> while everybody else is celebrating i'm like imagine the real olympics fourth place is just standing at the podium crying over their fail yeah, pretty, you probably, are crying. probably but not right next to the podium while like the national anthem of the winner is playing yeah, probably not. it's probably not allowed Okay, I just have to be not poop butt stink at this. Yay! We did it! Our 60th star! Woohoo! Yeah. Good job. Alright. Yay! And now Rosalina's gonna be like, whoa! All right, well, we did the big bonus 60 today. Yay! You've discovered a new galaxy. New. The big one. So we're basically halfway done if you want to 100% the game. Which I've never actually done. I've never 100%ed it. Ooh, the Comet Observatory has full power. Now it can fly through the cosmos again. Done. All right. Look at that toad back there, just like, well, oh, whatever. I'm just having a time. Alright, so do you want to go to the location of your special one at the center of the universe? Wait. Nah. <laughs> nah, let's not do that. I was like, you know what? I don't really <laughs> the right now. I'm good. Please speak to me when you're ready to go. Um, so what I do like is that it goes back to the regular music. Oh, we got our next Luigi letter! Bro, I got a star, but now I can't get back. This picture shows where I am. Help me. He's holding on to that tree. I know. Oh like, what is he doing? <laughs> oh, Luigi. Why does it say you're muted? Huh? I don't know. I thought it said you're muted. I'm muted? You for a long time. I'm not muted. Oh, okay. I'm probably, you... probably just need to refresh. You might want to tell him. Um, all right. Well, then that means next time we can tackle the honey hive um luigi star also i like that the new galaxy is like out of this world basically i do like that it goes back to this music and then it goes to the intense music if you want to fly to bowser now but yeah um so that's going to do it for the stream today we're gonna save and quit i'm gonna put on some fun music while we um pull up the credits do you really want to quit I mean, do we ever want to? No, but... Okay, uh, let's go back to... Uh, hello? Yeah. Yeah! Okay, return to title selection. Okay. We'll put on a fun song for this. Or we'll just use whatever song it plays, because I like that it, um... has that feature, basically. Alright, um, so, first of all... Um, I want to thank, because this is the kind of stuff that doesn't appear in the credits, unfortunately, but I want to thank Psycho Nacho Man for the gift sub to Aurora Peachy. And then I want to thank Aurora Peachy for the raid today. Thank you so much, and thank you to everybody who's stuck around, and everybody who's been here hanging out today. It's been a lot of fun. Shout out to my, my co-host, Odin Spack, back there, who's been chilling with you guys as well. Um, he will be part of my Friday Night Mario Party, so you'll, you'll see both of us again on Friday at 8 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> Stuck with Big Odie. So yeah, I'll be live again on Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern with Mario Party 7. We're doing Friday Night Mario Party 7. It's the last weekend of that game, and then we just have one more to complete, uh, the GameCube era, so that's kind of insane, but, you know, 
super excited about that and then we'll be moving on to the Wii era so um, I'll also be live again with more of this type of stream on Saturday I'll be streaming Animal Crossing followed by more Galaxy and then next week I'm taking the week off because I'm in the middle of doing a channel rebrand um, and working on my alerts and getting things um, fresh because a lot of what we've seen is very very um, old at this point so we want to keep it fresh keep it new and that's the idea so that's what's going on next week just to kind of cap off any sort of announcements I had at the beginning of the stream Thank you, Psycho, for the bits, for the bounce bits. Um, also, shout out to my patrons on Patreon. This is my credit screen from the month of October. I believe this is the last day you can pledge to my Patreon in order to get your name up on this credit screen for the month of November. So if you're interested in that, check out my Patreon page. The link is in the chat under the video or under the stream. So thank you so much for everybody who pledged to my October Patreon family. You guys are amazing. And then let's go ahead and roll our credits now. Um, credit everybody who gave bits, who participated in the stream today in any way, shape, or form. We've got some fun uh, fall colors for November. So let's check it out. So thank you so much for your kindness and support as always. Thank you to the bits from Casanova64, Scottman895, Shy Guy for Days, Mr. Wario, and Psycho Nacho Man. Thank you guys so much for the bits. To my mods who are here, Little Foo came in and Odin Spec. Thank you guys so much for modding. To my followers, the new followers, Missile, Paper, There, Specky, Nawa, Loner, Rebel, Lemons, Not Anime, Malhair, This Is Gibberish, Fish, and thank you for the sub, Shliam and Aurora Peachy, which was a gift sub from Psycho. So thank you guys so much for your love and support. Let's see if anybody else is live that we could raid currently. Uh, get a good old fashioned raid going on in here if anybody's live. And if not, we'll just call it. Well, Zenonia is live. She is, we raided her yesterday, but she's the only person that's live currently. So we'll go ahead and give her another uh, raid. Uh, Alright, so she's just chatting. Uh, I think yesterday she was playing Donkey Kong Country 3, I believe. Um, but keep in mind her uh, stream is geared towards a mature audience, so just fair warning. Uh, let's go ahead and hashtag... Oh my god. What's a good hashtag for like that Ball galaxy. Well, like the one where you just ran into the. The one where I just rolled off. How is it rolled off? Alright, rolled off. Yeah, rolled off. Uh. You know what? Fine. We'll just do. And. Well, I was gonna do another one, but I can't remember what it was. Oh well. We're gonna do just rolled off. This is our hashtag for our raid. So there you go. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being part of the stream de la stream. I will see you on Friday for Friday Night Mario Party. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.